So we started off today with the Mineral Man bringing you some really unusual gemstones. So we thought it'd be nice to carry that theme on a little bit and we've managed to dig out some of our more unusual strands for this hour. So we're going to have a little bit of a mini showcase. We've got... Ah, oh my lord. Isn't it gorgeous? Shall I just bring this in and show you? I'm intrigued by the one in the middle, the pale of the green. This one? No, that next door to that. Ah. I'm not sure. So we've got Vesuvianite. Yeah. We've got... So that's your Vesuvian we've got Colour wow. Change Garnet. Wow. We've got two Seraphonites. We've got Sharoite. Thulite. Ooh, from Norway. Yeah. And then we've also got... Oh, my word. Now, it's, I would normally say Sugelite because it should be a soft G, but because it's named after a certain person, it's, it's uh, Suglite. Oh, OK, that's interesting. The G's so apparently pronounced like yeah, goose yeah. or geese. So they, they are going to be really unusual and beautiful, wow. especially if you're a collector. Now, I've also got some twisted obsidians. That sounds like the name of a band, doesn't it? The Twisted Obsidians. <laughs> <laughs> Little rock wow, band. look at this. Aren't they gorgeous? It's, obsidian is always a very popular gemstone anyway. It looks phenomenal. But to actually have it in this twisted formation, love it. Really, really love it. And they're big. They are big, aren't they? I love that twisted shape as well. It's amazing. We don't get the twisted no, shape very no, often, no, do we? No. I've also got, if you love your moonstone and optical gemstones, um, I have got chocolate moonstone for you. Not edible, pointing that out. I know I'm obsessed with chocolate and all things food, but not edible. But they're good enough. That faceting is mm. amazing. Now, this particular strand has never, ever been under £20 before. That one there is catching my eye. Look at That's that. the one I keep looking at as well. Do you know what they remind me of? And I'm really sorry about this because it is going back to chocolate and it's quite apt to name it chocolate moon, uh, moonstone. After dinner mints. Mm, yes. Yeah, after, certain shape of after <laughs> dinner mint, which might be nice and fondanty on the centre. See, that's a Christmas thing for me. After eight. Yeah. Mm. And See, I don't do chocolate. Do you so, not? No. Okay, can no, we do a text no. topic then on what mm. is your Christmas traditional food? What, York what... fruits. Are they the... the... They're, they're like big um, fruit pastels. They're all fruit shapes with sugar on the top. Yes, yeah. yes. And they normally come in a big tin, That's don't right. they? Yeah, I like York fruits. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, the ones that I used to remember from my childhood is the little slices of lemon and orange, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. which also was covered. Mm. And I never figured yeah. out if they were real lemon and orange. They probably, I don't think they are. No. But I was convinced they were real yeah. lemon and orange when I was a kid, and I thought that's more one of my five a day. This <laughs> <laughs> before one of my five a day was actually invented, but there we are. So we've got these coming up as well. I even have wow. a mini showcase of barrel if you love your barrel, and I absolutely do. <gasps> oh my lord, look at this. This is massive. I love the tumbles, I absolutely adore them. I managed to get a strand of them a little while ago, but they were tiny in comparison to this. This is huge. The, um, one of the designers for Gemporia, as many of the viewers know, um, the lovely Sarah Bennett. Oh, she's amazing. She bought out yeah. a collection a couple of years ago using these barrel strands. Yeah. And I was lucky enough to buy one of her pieces, which I treasure at home. And it just reminds me of this strand. It's just Sarah Bennett all the way through this, this strand. It's beautiful. It was a fantastic high-end collection yeah. as well, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, I yeah. love that. You know I the loved, collection. Yeah, I yeah. know the collection. I, I um, bought it to air many times and yeah. loved every single piece. They were so dramatic. Mm. They're incredible So, pieces. so dramatic, yeah. Oh. So if wow. you like high-end pieces, this is the strand for you. It's the biggest strand and carrot weight we've got in this particular variety of stone. Um, and it's coming up at 8 o'clock, I believe, the 8 o'clock hour. Yeah, wow. 8 o'clock hour. Oh. Oh, hello. I like okay. the way you said that. The Botswana Agate. It's lovely. It is actually, yeah. Can you say that again? Botswana Agate. Agate. <laughs> A gate, a gate. Now, it's coming up at eight o'clock. That's very cute. These oh. are gorgeous. Now, this is a reorder. It was extremely, mm. extremely popular previously, completely sold out. Um, and we've managed to get a reorder on it, but very much like last night, 
very much like last night. We can only get 100 of these. So what we're going to do is we will open pre-orders on them. We're not going to do it now. We're going to do it at 7 o'clock, if that's OK, because then that uh, gives... It basically yeah. means uh, we hope we will have some when we actually bring it to air, rather than if we do it now, there's a high chance we won't even have any remaining, so there's no mm -hmm. point in, in bringing it to air then, is there? So all I can say, keep your eyes peeled, 7 o'clock, it will be available for you to pre-order. Can I just bring this one in as well? Because I'm looking this at the shape my, of this. This is my strand of the evening. It's amazing. I know, it's beautiful. Absolutely. Now, this is a real old school jewelry maker strand for me. It brought back memories of, of when I first joined the company. It's a beautiful strand. Now, this is actually part of a bundle. So I've got two other strands really? that go with. Yeah, these two as well. Wow. So you're going to get all three of these. That, that's exquisite, isn't it? Well, and this one. Can you see in this one? Do you want to put it on pre order? Yeah, he's, he's going to put it on pre-order for us. It's coming up at 7 o'clock, so wow. he is going to do pre-orders now, if that's... It worked beautifully okay. with the kit that we've got at 7 o'clock. I know, I know. He's been, a bit, he's been a bit cagey about the price of my first kit. He's been cagey about most of the things yeah, today, in fairness. Yeah. Do you, are, you, are you going to tell us now, or are you going to leave us...? Nah. <laughs> Yeah, that's the reason he's been cagey about it, right, yeah. Right. You are going to get an image. Remember what I said earlier on, Santa Claus. Although I think in this instance, it's because he's decided the price is Ross, yeah. isn't it? You're bringing the amazing deals and he's annihilating yeah. the prices. That's what it is. So, where shall we start? Hmm. Oh, OK. Oh. We're going to come what to those. He's that? not. He's not allowing us to do it. Oh yes, sardonyx. Look at that. Sardonyx. I forgot we'd got that one in there. That's huge. Yep. Undrilled is that? Yeah. Completely. Yeah. Yeah. Completely undrilled. That's beautiful. I love the effect you've got on this. Wow. I love the word sardonyx. I think it's, it's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lovely it's, word. It's actually. a proper old style gemstone. Yeah, you see yeah. that mentioned in the Bible, and you, you see it in loads of different textbooks from many, many eons ago. But it's almost like it's got an eye. Oh, yes. The eye of Sardonyx is watching oh. you. So, this is coming up a little bit later on. Can't guarantee yours, yours will have an eye, but um, it might do. Who knows? <laughs> now. This hour, as always, is miss it, miss out. So very, very low on quantity, unfortunately, but that does mean we're going to bring you ridiculously low prices. And Ross is in the seat, so we know that's exactly what's going to happen. Um, we are looking at 150 carats of lavender amethyst, which for me is one of those amethysts that just, it sits on the perfect tone to be able to wear it every single day. Because when you get Zambian amethyst, it's got a fantastic punch to it, doesn't it? It has this intensity of colour, but it's not something that you can get away with all the time. It's more of a showstone. Whereas when you've got the lighter colours of the amethyst, I think that's something you can wear in the office. If it was a blue, it would be ice blue, wouldn't it? Yes. I really think. Yeah. You don't get ice creams or, or sorbets purple, do you? You don't, do you? I was trying to think. Hmm. A lavender infused ice cream. I'm not good with purple food because you can get purple cauliflower and purple broccoli and purple, you can get purple potatoes. And purple you? carrots, yeah. 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 I quite as like a, purple as, as, a, as, a as a veg, yeah. Because you've mm. got plums, mm. grapes, aubergines. Yeah. Are you good with aubergines? Um, I don't mind. So you like the, maybe the darker ones, but yeah. not. I mean, the potato yeah. is quite. It's like yeah. this colour, isn't it? Yeah. Really. That's lovely. Hold those lines. Now, ooh, I've got two in twenty-four. Which one's it? Okay, I've got. I've got the right one then. He said a gate again. A gate. <laughs> now I'm questioning: Is it a gate or is it a gate? I don't know. I don't know. Mm. The mineral man this morning was trying to convince. Um, Eleanor, that it's labradorite, not labradorite. And he was trying mm. really all morning to get her to say lab, lab, labradorite. No. And she couldn't do it. No. Because it's named after the location, mm. so how is the location named? Mm. It's Labrador, isn't Labrador it? Labrador Peninsula. Yeah. No, it's a weird one. Oh, there we are. 
There we go. Um, so this one's actually brand spanking new. We weren't able to get a huge quantity of them. So we have taken all of them that we have available for you right now to 395 Open your orders. That's that kind wow. of price, isn't it? That is a stocking stuffer price point. And you look at the colours that you're getting in there. It's almost like um, cornelian. You've got these beautiful is, yes. ready colours, yes. haven't you? Recently on the show, we've had red Botswana agate, <gasps> which is quite rare, and this sort of reminds me of that. Talking of, of Botswana agate. It would work perfectly with it. It wouldn't it's it? It's lovely, yeah. Beautiful. Did you say it's gone? Oh, oh right, okay. I thought you said it's gone. I was going to say that's, just, that's very quick. I know it's fast pace and furious and last auctions and all that, but um, so this is actually coming up at eight o'clock if you do want the Botswana Agate. It is my must have. And again, it's going to be a fantastic must have. And we've got a hundred of them, that's all. But you're right, they would go beautifully Lovely, together. I also think it would go really nicely with the Moonstone as well. God, I love that strand. I love that strand. Isn't it gorgeous? I think the fact that the sheen goes over the surface of mm, all of them is yes. just magical, really magical. So, Botswana Agate, 8 o'clock, your moonstone. What time's that on, Ross? Oh, it's oh. at the end of the hour. It is at the end of the hour. So, I'm thinking rings, and I don't normally mm. think rings. No, that's lovely, isn't it? But I think the quality of each of these and the fact you've got such a unique element, somebody can come along and go, I want that one. Turn it into a ring, please. There we are. It would be perfect as a ring. Gorgeous little solitaire. And you would charge, I mean, if you were doing a really basic ring, what, five pounds? Mm, at least. And then you've got the rest of the strand. And then you've got the rest of the strand. Oh, I was thinking. I was thinking of you the other day. Of me? Yes. Why was that? Um, because I was looking at trying to combine clothes and jewellery for Christmas mm -hmm. and like I've got my birthday coming up so I thought oh what can I wear um, and I need to get because I want to wear the necklace that you made if you remember the, the turquoise mm -hmm. coloured one I want to wear that and I'm like I've got nothing to go with it black. but I need to wear that oh be amazing with black you, can make, you must have an LBD somewhere yeah no definitely yeah, yeah. definitely yeah that yeah thank you for that which ones I haven't got actually Oh, that's why that's in the same one then. There we go. Oh, that's cute. Ooh. Is this drilled? It is, straight it through is the top. Straight through the top. So you oh. could quite happily turn that into a pendant really easily. And we're going to give you an open your order price point again. So gorgeous green stripe agate, heart shaped, 40 millimetres in size. I'm thinking of a cuff. I know you've got that element there so you can actually turn it into a pendant, but. What about a Swarovski head pin? Wow. Straight oh, yes. through, yeah. so then you've yeah. got something a little bit fancy and yeah. then turn it into a big cuff. It's beautiful. We could treat it as, as the cabochon, couldn't you? And you could, you could seed bead bezel if you want to. Oh, that's a good point. Do you know something? We've got a whole four hours this evening, not a seed bead in sight. Not a single one. Didn't even pick up on that, but yeah. you are so right. That's quite nice, actually. Have a have a have an evening off. Yeah. Have an evening off from seed beads. Yeah. We're going to bring you unusual stones. We're going to bring you fancy yeah. coloured stones. We're going to bring you lots of different things, including findings packs. Uh, but you're absolutely right. Not a single seed bead. Not a single seed bead. Two pounds ninety-five though on this particular heart. I mean, when you think about it, that is a ridiculously good price, isn't it? Beautiful. Gorgeous colour. I would just put a maybe a 10 mil jump ring through that little hole and yeah. then uh, a leather cord or some velvet or... Ooh, um, velvet. Or, um, what's the other word I'm trying to think of? So we've gone cord, velvet, lace? Yeah, no. Um, what our little findings bags are made of? I've completely had a oh, mental organza. block. Oh, Organza, thank you. Oh, organza yes. ribbon, something like that. Yes. Just a simple tie around the yeah. neck. I was going to say, now I'm thinking mm. of chokers because mm. that would look really, yeah. really, really yeah. nice. Sorry, my lovely, mm. what was that? I just... Completely got carried away by the idea of a choker with that uh, heart. So I'm going to bring you this one next. Ah, oh. pyramid beads. Oh, we have got seed beads of these sorts. Are... We've got we've got check beads. Yeah, I was going to say I wouldn't yeah. I wouldn't count these as seed beads. No, I wouldn't count them as seed beads. I think they're a little bit too. Is it safe to say too large? For a seed bead, yeah. yes, this is a press glass bead, this one. There we go. Yeah. 
So the colorway you've got on this is wow. actually white terracotta. So you've got a white base to it, and then you've got this wonderful, um, almost, uh, almost a rose color. It's lovely, isn't it? Overlaid, yeah, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. And then you've got these gorgeous streaks of what looks almost like a gilting. It's not a how gilting. Are they drilled? How are well, How's the drill hole? Is it corner to corner or <gasps> through the middle? Double drilled. Oh, double drilled. And it's straight through. Straight through side to side. Brilliant. Oh, yeah. they're lovely, look at those. Straight through side to side, double drilled. And you're gonna get them for a tiny, tiny, tiny cost as well, which is gonna be amazing. This is gonna be one of those where you're gonna to want to add more than one. This is lovely. Stash build while you can. So how would you work with these ones then? I would just, just put them onto elastic and I'd put little seed beads or little black spinel or something in between just to separate them a little bit, just to make them go a bit further. Just simple stretchy braces. Or you could get two pieces of memory wire mm. and um, have a double row bangle. That might be quite nice. I think it was you who introduced me to memory wire. Was it? Many, many I introduced yeah. a lot of people to memory it's brilliant wire. Brilliant stuff. Mm, no, brilliant I stuff. It. I love it. £2.95. £2.95. Wow, good. I am going to bring my coffee analogy in. But well, have you paid more for a cup of coffee recently? I've had a couple of people say yes now, especially the Christmassy ones has just been mentioned, like the gingerbread latte. Do you know what? I quite like the gingerbread latte. Oh, Amelia's not convinced. Are you convinced with the gingerbread latte? No. No? Black Forest hot chocolate's very nice. <laughs> I can't think of anything worse. I've Black never Forest taken Gatto to Black Forest Gatto, no. That's one of my least favorite cakes of all mm. time. Just, mm. no. No. What, so what's your Christmas tradition food-wise then? What's your ultimate, ultimate thing? Oh gosh. Well, it has to be Christmas cake. I, yes. I love Christmas yeah. cake. That's my favourite. Marzipan icing the works. I do like that. And Christmas pud. Mm. Um, Anything else? Well, because I'm not, I'm not a sweet, I haven't got a sweet tooth, so it's a bit tricky Christmassy wise but... Um, Mine's the cheese know. board. Oh yeah, pickled onions. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pickled onions. Yeah. Chutneys. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Let us know mm. what yours are. Now make sure you're checking these ones out. There's still a couple of you with it in baskets and there's lots of you taking more than one. So again, it's going to, you know it's minimum in this hour quantity wise. So if you do want something and you see it and you love it, grab it while you can. Um, Ron, well done to you and Sue. Congratulations, you've got two of those. Sharon, you've got three as well. Um, Collector in Suffolk, well done to you also. If you are still on those phone lines, don't put the phone down. You are being answered as soon as possible. And if you have it in your basket, check those baskets out. I'm just trying to think now. Chocolate coated Brazils. Oh yeah. My mum likes those, yeah. yeah, my mum likes those. Honeycomb, um, is that a Christmassy thing? Yes. I always remember the trays of toffee with a hammer. Walker's trays. Is Walker's, it, isn't it Walker's yeah. non-such toffee? Is that what it is? Yes, you I, still met, get I met, it? you can, yeah, they oh. still they still exist. Um, but the factory's actually where I used to live, in oh, Stoke on Trent, yes. yeah, and we actually met the owner. Right. Walker's non-such. Is it, no. It, no. Toffee. Toffee. Toffee, you have a little hammer to, to smash it. Now, these... Now, I had these on the morning show recently oh. and I'm still quite in shock about the price that these went to. I'm assuming I it's around. ridiculously low. Mm. Mm. Okay. Well, that's, that's why. Um, they were, of course, very popular, which is why we have single figures. And considering what Mark's just said, I'm not even going to ask you to wait for the price to, to hit the screen, just get it in your yeah, life so as beautiful. soon as you can. So beautiful. There's no mistaking this is turquoise by but any stretch of the imagination. It's so. such an amazing colour as well, isn't it? I love the fact it's in the round because mm. not very often these days that we've seen nuggets, we've seen tumbles, we've seen rondelles, we're seeing smaller sizes as well, but we're not seeing the round anywhere near as much as we are the others. So a nice addition to your collection, great size to it as well. You're actually getting six mil in size on those. Isn't that oh, one of the Desert beautiful. Island sizes? It is, six mil, yeah. So there you go, That's Desert beautiful. Island size. What would you do with this, Mark, my darling? Well, I'd have to, I'd have to keep one in my collection because it's not very often, as you said, we get rounds of turquoise. Yep. And I would just turn them all into just single drop, simple earrings with gold. Yeah. I think gold and turquoise, see that, yeah. look, look. It's that, yeah, that is apt. <laughs> you could quite easily, if you got a pair of earrings, just a simple pair of earrings, like you yeah. mentioned, you could be charging that. You could be charging yeah. that easily. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, you, you're just getting such yeah. an amazing How deal. How many have you got on there, then? Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. So seven pairs of earrings. Yep, seven pairs of earrings and one left over for a mm. nice bracelet or a, yeah. an extra ring yeah. for you. Twenty quid, look. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I apologise. I really apologise profusely there. They just pointed but out into the gallery that I, that I said quid. No, but... It, Quid is a, a term associated with kind of lower, I've never said that. lower end prices. So I think at that, that is 20 quid. It's not a 20 quid strand, is it? Because no. you look at the quality of the strands, and you look at all those gorgeous colours coming through. You wouldn't associate 20 pounds with this, or 20 quid with this. But it, it, it's, you've got wow. it, it's gone. It's gone. Well done, everyone. What a, just an amazing price. Yeah, it really is. Ridiculous price. It's crazy, isn't it? I thought 49.95 was the most. Yeah, price. I know. It's fantastic. Oh, well done. If you managed to get a hold of that, 20 quid. Wow. Oh my goodness. Sorry, Ross. I'm just getting a bit, a bit carried away. Um, you twisted obsidian. I don't know why, but it reminds me of a serpent. Does it? Mm. I'm just thinking of the work that's gone into making this because obviously mm. it's, it's not that's not its structural form it's been cut and then it's been polished yeah and they haven't just taken a stone and twisted it by hand you know it's all been carved and then polished it's not like a licorice that you can just no, go warm no. it up and twist it a little no, bit no. yeah it's not it's not sugar it's not it, it's not like doing a man-made glass this is a, a natural for a natural glass which mm. yeah a lot yeah. of work a lot of effort has actually gone into this to be able to um, to bring you a strand like this, and I'm actually wondering how many we do have available in total. I thought it was going to be low. 20. Yeah, mm. I did I did think it was going to be low. Um, we have 23 chances. 23 chances, and that is it. Now, let me bring you this one for a moment. Good old bumblebee. That's beautiful with that, with the black, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's just lovely. Do you know what's really nice about the two of these as well? Mm. They're both volcanically formed. Oh, yes. Yeah. So they are oh, no. brother and sister, basically. Family. They're family, they're family. Which is wonderful. So we've got ten of these available, and that is it. That's all I've got for you. So the um, obsidian's coming up a little bit later on. And then I'm going to bring you this one now. So. I always think with strands like this, are there two pieces on that strand that were, that were one at one point? And then they get cut in half and separated. Mm. Do, they ever, do they ever get brought back together again? Oh, because they might mm. end up on separate strands. Mm. Because I get really excited if you buy it. Oh, this is, no, I'm not going to tell you. Do it, oh, please. No, because this, this, it just shows you how incredibly sad my life is. I get really excited if you buy a pack of French beans and two are still attached. Yes! But that is like yes, the sweetest thing. Isn't it? That is the sweetest, sweetest. Yeah. Do you separate them? No. no. I don't Good. cook with them. I leave them in the fridge until they go rotten and then throw them out together. Oh! Yeah. No, I couldn't part them. I couldn't part them. Do you do the whole composting thing though? Yeah. So, yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah, so at least they're going back so they're together. Then, yeah, yeah. Well, feeding them back. Yes. Oh. Yeah. That's really lovely. Yeah. Um, so £14.95 is tiny Look considering that. this is one incredible, incredible feat of nature. So your volcano has wow. erupted, it throws lots of stuff up in the air and then it slowly comes, I say slowly, it comes down quite quickly, but then slowly over time when it settles, pressure builds on it and pressure builds on it and it starts then mm. to transform it into a stone. And you can see the oranges and the yellows are actually sulfur. That's, That's the, the colour of the sulfur. Beautiful colour. There isn't another orange like that, I don't no. think, is there? It's, no. it's a stunning colour. It's known as volcanic tuft. Tuft? Yes. That's a lovely word. I love that word. Tuft. That's why I ha every time I see that, I have to mention it. Tuft. Aww. It's so soft, isn't it? Because you can imagine it just all floating yeah. down. Tuft. Tuft. Aww. Like the volcano's gone poof, mm. poof, poof, poof. Like a little steam train before it goes whoo, whoo. So hold those lines on that one. They are going very quickly. So if you do want it, grab it. Are you ready for your star buy, though? Just 
been told where it's going to go price-wise. After everything we've just said. Yeah. How, um, Wow. How many did you, you, you said that? 20, yeah, I thought there wasn't many. 23. It's not every day we do this shape in any gemstone, is it, at no. all? No, no. I mean, the, the closest we've had recently is um, rose quartz, and the twist on that uh, is very yes. subtle. It is, it's, yeah. it's a tiny twist, whereas this is a really dramatic one. Yeah. Um, I think, actually, Mark, we should just um, get off our chairs and go for a cup of tea. We probably won't even have time to go for a cup of tea because you love the gemstone anyway. When you see the price point, the 23 of them that are in the building are just... The wow. that, that's it. Look at that sparkle of such little... Look it's almost that. like Jet, that's isn't amazing. it? amazing. You know how Whitby Jet has got yes, um, the yes. most luster of the, the jets? That's amazing. Isn't it magic? I like the subtlety of this. Because sometimes golden obsidian can be a bit too, too glittery. Yes, but when I it catches this, the light, this is yeah. It's just, just yeah. perfect. And the shape is magic. The ripples in the, in the light when you twist it like that, it's amazing. I think that might be why it, it makes me think of serpents, because yeah. you know when a snake yeah. slithers and then it ca the, the patterning catches yeah. the light, it's, it's got that kind of feel to it. Look at the price on your screen right now, and I would say every single one of those 23 would find a home at that price. Now, we didn't actually say how many are on the strand, did we? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. There's seventeen on this strand. Okay, seven. Oh. oh, hang on, that means yeah. that they're... Um, Not even a pound each. At the moment. At the moment, they're £1.29 pence each. Where he's going to go, not even a pound each. So £1.29 currently? Yes. And when, when Ross has done his drop, it's going to be, should we say? Can yeah, we say? You, yeah. Half of that. I'm letting you say that, Mark. I've said it now. Yep. Because if we're not supposed to take it that low, it's, it's not, mm. nothing to do with me. You're Santa. Oh, you God. are Santa. <laughs> Today you are Santa. <laughs> There's 15 chances remaining and that is it. Wow. That's brilliant. That's a real star buy in my eyes. It really is. It's the the, the yeah. sad thing, the shame of it is, we don't have a star buy quantity, do we? 23 no. is not a star buy quantity. 230 would have been a star buy quantity. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't have that. It is a case That's of fastest amazing. fingers first and good luck. Um, it works out at 58 pence per stone. That's incredible, isn't it? It's uh, just... I, I don't know how we do that. I really don't. <sighs> So we took 55% off the original price. Isn't that the kind of price you'd expect to see in a January sale? Mm. Well, we're not in January. No, we've had Black Friday. That's <laughs> yeah, we've gone, had Black Friday, we've had Cyber Monday. Yeah. Did you manage to bag yourself any deals on those? No. No, I'm not, I'm not sort of swayed. We didn't buy a TV or anything no. like that, or a toaster or whatever. I'm just thinking, did I? I'm just what I'm trying to think now. Did I? Did I? Uh, no, I bought my... I hope he's not watching, but I bought my husband... Uh, he a, might be watching. Stop watching. Turn the mute on. I can't say now, no. just in case he no. is. No. It's really, really nice. Oh. <laughs> I can't say <laughs> what it is. <laughs> Well done. It's really nice and it was a very good price as well. Uh, it's not a kettle, by the right, way. Right. It's not a kettle. There's um, five chances remaining and that's it. Five chances. Um, collector in Essex, well done. Vivian, well done. Delia, well done. Collector in Staffordshire has got two of these. Congratulations. If you wow. want more than one, you are more than welcome to. Remember, there is only five, though. There's only five that's left. Amazing. And that's it. I can't quite believe that. That's brilliant. It is. That is a Black Friday price. Oh, okay. I price. think this is one for the gents as well. I think, I think, yeah. I think it's, it's not a too overtly feminine shape, is it? That no. twist. No. And you can you can get away with just one, or you can go the whole hog and have all of them if you wanted yeah. to. Because I quite stunning. like to um, rosary link them. Mm. Maybe think, would do they, Would they work with those barrels we've got coming? Why not? Up? Why maybe, not? Maybe, actually, actually. Um, have we got any of those turquoise left we've just had? No, they're sold out. It's gone, has it? Because I think gone. a little round in between these barrels, I think it looks stunning. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Just, mm. just pop one in. Yeah. 
That's lovely. Yeah. Um, can I just say, please be patient on the phone lines, my darlings. Um, there is a little bit of a wait. If you press your one key right now, at this moment, you will get one. Wow. If you're not, then you won't. So fingers crossed for you, my lovelies, but hold those lines well on that one. Um, the barrels are over here, aren't they? Are you ready for your sardonics? Get sardonics. Get sardonics. Don't repeat that. That just came out. That is amazing. <laughs> that is that is brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. This. So this is going to be unique. Everyone you get is going to yes. be unique, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Sardonyx is a micro-crystalline variety of um, agate. And the Sard is basically a, a variety of that, which has to be one colour. And then your Sardonyx tends to be onyx, but it has to be brown. Oh, okay. So there's certain right. specifications. Mm. Um, so it has to be brown, but it can be banded. It's quite often banded. Um, and then your sard has to be one colour. So this oh. is brilliant. So normally a combination of the two. Mm. Wow. And I love the fact you've got such an unusual element to it. And yeah, it, you could have one that's more banded. You could have one which is more of a solid colour. You could have one which has got a little bit more of the, um, the brown to it or less of the brown to it. But it's a really, I, w I always think of it as an old style gemstone because mm. it's mentioned in the Bible. It is, it's yes. Pliny yeah. the Elder has it mentioned as well. And isn't it one of, and I'm, I'm probably wrong on this one, but isn't it one of the... Um, 12 of the breast in the breastplate of Aaron. Could be. I think it is, yeah. I think it potentially yeah. is, yeah. yeah. And it's one of those that has, has been named, used to name various gemstones which have been the wrong name for it. So no one's quite sure what, when they're using the term sard or sardonyx, no one's sure what the original name oh. was for. But today, um, the, the, what I said was... Um, oh, it is no, one it of is. them. Yes, it is, yeah. yeah. Um, so it's a fabulous, fabulous stone, and it looks incredible, doesn't it? So if you're, oh my life, really That's that amazing, low? Isn't it? That's display cabinet worthy, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm sorry, mm. I'm a little bit taken back by seven pounds ninety-five. That's beautiful. I like the term free form as well. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Every single piece is going to be unique. So basically they've taken the stone and they've chosen to work with the shape of the stone after mm. it's been cobbed and then facet it rather than going, well, we need to have an oval or we need to have a trillion or we need to have a whatever the shape is at the time. They're just going with the stone itself. What does cobbed mean? Oh, sorry, cobbed. Okay, yeah, so... I've not heard um, that expression before. To, to cob a stone is yeah. to to take off the excess to bring it down to a shape. So if you oh, want to round okay. and yeah, you've yeah. got one that starts off a little bit square, you cob the, the to excess the off to the you... shape and then uh, you facet. So it's a preform. Wow. Yeah, it's a preform before you start the actual faceting of the oh, stone. I never knew that. There you go. I never knew that. Or I can start the argument that it's also a bread roll. Ah, right. But me and Laura had this <laughs> argument and she's still, she's still battling this one out with me. I've had photographs when she's been in supermarkets of different bread products. Right. <laughs> they, I'm right. So I don't say cob, I say bap. Um, she calls them rolls. I call my them rolls. Do yeah, you? Bread I'm, roll. Yeah. yeah, but my argument is a bread roll is a long finger-like. So that's a torpedo or a baguette. A sub, that's a sub. I'm now being educated. Oh, it's, yes, a a roll. Roll. it's a finger roll. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Oh goodness me! It's all started again. <laughs> oh no! We've got batches. We've got cobs. We've got. It's all started again. Sub, and what was it? A torpedo you mm. mentioned. Yeah. Um, talking of torpedoes. They're amazing. Are these? One wow. of my unusual gemstones, going along with the, um, the mineral theme for the day, I wanted to try and find some really unusual stones to bring to you. And, and this is one of them that I absolutely adore. It's Sharawite, and it's named after the Shara River, which is in Russia. Um, and it's one of the most unusual, quite a high silica-bearing uh, silica gemstone, and that's what gives it the waxiness. So it has a waxy oh. luster to it. And it's, it's almost, it's not warm to touch, it's not like amber, but it's almost warm in comparison mm. to a, another yeah, gemstone. Yeah. But the look is incredible, isn't it? I love this shape as well. It's so dramatic, yes. isn't it? This is worthy of, of Christmas party <gasps> jewellery, isn't it? Mm. Mm. 
What would you do with this one then? Well, I would just keep it as simple as it is, but I'd replace those little beads inside with something probably a six mil. Again, oh, that, that yes. turquoise. I'm going yeah, back to I'm that turquoise to, yeah. again. I'll bring it back in. Yeah, now, I think they look amazing. Look at that. Ooh, That's beautiful. And if I'd, you I'd manage to get gold. the turquoise. So I'd pop yeah. one of those in between and I'd put a little gold bead either side of the turquoise just to lift it. I think they look amazing. Have you seen the price? <gasps> For Sharite. Yes. Lowest ever price point. No. That's the lowest ever price, but there are 90 carats here. I'm really excited about this because wow. I remember bringing um, Sharon White in silver and Sharon White in, in, in gold as well. Um, and the, yeah, that's not what I would associate with a Sharon White price point. Really unique. Wow. Always reminds me of, is it Ed, Edvard? Edvard Bunch? Yeah. The screen? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it reminds me of that. All the background that. colours in the, yeah, in the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and also, it reminds me of Van Gogh or Van Gogh or Van Gogh. Mm -hmm. um, his Starry Night. <laughs> yeah. It's just got that kind of feel to it. They are like little pieces of um, That's artwork. That's beautiful. Wow. <gasps> Look at that. I'm thinking rings now. Mm. They, they are, yeah. Ross is saying they're almost like stalagmites. No, it'd be stalag tights, because tights, tights come, come down, down, mites go up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way That's I, remember I remember it. it yeah, well. tights come down, lights go up. Ah, yeah. oh, dear, Look at a like show. Oh. Have I told you this before? And I, you, you have, but I cannot remember for the life of me what, ah, which is, so nook, it, one goes one way and one goes the other. Nook is vertical, as in book. That's the way you remember nook, it. Nook, book, yeah. Yeah, and cranny is horizontal. So nook and cranny. Ah. Mm, it's dry stone walling, yeah. Ah. Oh, so it comes from dry stone walling? Yeah, that's where nooks and crannies come from. So the little gaps in stone, dry stone walling. Yeah. Learn something new every day. I we should like have it. a fact text in. I like facts. Oh, text. yes, the please. Factoids. Random factoids, yeah. please. Yeah. Random yeah. factoids. Yesterday I came, uh, I gave one which was hello. So the original term of hello, which is a term of like, it's salutation, isn't it? Yeah. So greetings. Yeah. It was originally um, a expression of shock. So, oh, hello. Like, oh, hello. And the reason it went to a salutation, yeah, sorry. <laughs> the reason it went to a salutation is because it was used when the phone was first invented. So when the voice came out of the phone, the response was, oh, oh hello. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it was a shock, it's actually happened. And that wow. just then became, hello, how are you? Yeah. Random factoids, yeah. please send them in. Yeah, yeah forget like the Christmas that. traditions. Let's, let's have random facts. Yeah. Um, 6077 is the number to be dialing, uh, messaging in even. How many did we have of these? Um, we had 20, 20 of them, right. there's six remaining. That is just so beautiful, isn't it? And I think purple is a colour that you can wear every month of the year, yes. every season. It doesn't have a... I love purple. Mm. Love it. There's five chances left now and that's it. That is one of my ultimate buys, I think. See, that's like... To have a collector strand under ten pound is just it's so good, wow. so yeah. so good. Um, say oh, that again, my darling. Oh. Thulight. I love seeing a term from Norway come up on there. I think it really it, it always makes me chuckle. It's lovely. From Norway, Thulight. Guess what the uh, relative stone is. Oh, I know this one. I think I know this one. I think I know it. Is it zoosite? It is a zoosite. Yes. It is a zoosite, well remembered. therefore tanzanite, tanzanite is a yeah. relative, yeah. which is really quite impressive. So this is sometimes called the pink, the pink zoosite, um, but it is, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous variety. Quite often you get the almost calcite looking colours coming through, and I really like that, the mottled effect it's that the you richness. get. It's yes. Because you don't, you don't assume that pink is a rich colour, do you? That's a good point, actually, no. But this is, this is really rich. Yeah. And if you think of a ruby zoosite, you know, the little blotches of ruby yeah, yeah, that you yeah. get in the stead. That's that colour. Oh, it is, yeah. yeah it's absolutely amazing. right. That's beautiful. The thing I like about this as well is if you're talking about high quality gemstones mm. and, and grading wise, you look at this in comparison to the amount of thulite I've seen over the years, it's normally more of the grey colour coming through with little patches, oh, okay. like you were saying about the yeah. ruby and zoocyte. So you'd have a lot more of the grey and then these little patches of pink. I mean, you're looking at this and this is completely, completely the reverse. Yeah. There is only 11 wow. of these. That's it. And we're going to take it under 20. Oh, gosh. We're going to take it under 20. For me, this is a collector's stone as well. Whether you love minerals or whether you love gemstones, this is definitely a collector's stone. It's so unusual. This and must gorgeous. be the nearest gemstone to Redditch. 
that we carry must be Norway. Do we get our smoky quartz from Scotland? I don't think, no, no, smoky quartz doesn't mm. come from Scotland anymore, does it? Because the, mm. um, I think the mine, the Cairngorm mm. mine um, But country-wise, I think, I think Norway must be our closest. Yeah. Is Spain closer than Norway? My geography is rubbish, because we get Andalusite from Spain. Is that I closer? I thought it's closer to, to Redditch, Spain it's as or the bird flies. Norway. You think Norway is? Norway okay. is, yeah. Yeah. If you can find that out and let us know, that would be brilliant. I'm just <laughs> trying to think what other stones. Didn't we, haven't we bought a British stone at some point? No, because our jet is China jet, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we haven't got we haven't got Blue John yet. No, but if we do, We're then still that will struggling. be struggling. Yeah, but that would be definitely that would be definitely the nearest to Redditch. I keep eyeing up your earring, by the way. <laughs> Blue John earring. Mm. Brilliant choice. Brilliant well choice. Um, there are three in baskets. Make sure you're checking out on this one. Um, if you all check out, that will then take us down to four of these strands remaining in the building, and that's it. And it's one of the most amazing qualities of strand that I've seen for this particular variety of stone. It's, it's one of those colours that will go fantastic all the way mm. through the year, like purple yeah, absolutely. would. Absolutely, yeah. Because yeah. I'm thinking, add this with oranges, and I wouldn't normally put pink and orange together. But I actually think that's really mm. autumnally. Yeah, no, I think it's lovely. Pop it with a brighter colour, make it a little bit more like spring-like. Pop it with a warmer colour, make it a little bit summery. There's the last five, was it five chances? It's like a very, that's very, it. very yeah, rich chances. eaten mess, isn't it? Isn't that one of your favourite yeah. desserts? Yeah. Yeah. Message, Laura! Oh, for uh. goodness <laughs> sake! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, Laura, I was just thinking that definitely a roll. Yeah. 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 Laura, so I went down to see Laura the other day and um, we got there and the, she bought a bottle of wine so we can have and it was warm so she put it in the freezer. Got a photograph from her today. Oh no, it's still in there. <laughs> so I just found it in the freezer again. She's like, oh well, it's ready for next time. Um, which one would you like to see, my darling? Oh. Can you show that one stone that we've been. Where is it? Where? Oh, there it is. At. Is that the one? Yeah, there it is. There I just love the fact the faceting is completely symmetrical. Yeah. There's a centre facet, and then if you work out, you've got this sort of cross of facets. You do, yeah. Look at that. That is amazing. We I must get... have some more of these. We must have some more of these. How many of these do we have, darling? Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. We've got some really low numbers tonight, haven't we? <laughs> wow. I suppose in... In Ross's favour, it's more than the last star buy we had, which was well, what, 23, yes. wasn't it? Yeah, that's true. We've got 30, basically. See, is, I would buy that entire got. strand just for that yes. one. Yes, yeah. I think that is just I'm there exceptional. With you on that. I am there with you on that. It's oh, beautiful. And it's a BAP, Laura, it's a BAP. <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to get so many photos later, aren't I? Um, mm. Now, How do you pronounce it? Sugar lights. Sugar light, yeah, sugar mm. light's the actual, mm. yeah. I always said, I used to, and I've always said suja light. I've got a little bit of, an, um, yeah, sugar light. Um, this, so I've been collecting stones for a very, very long time, and I've been interested in the sort of metaphysical properties of stones since I was, goodness knows, like, yay high to a grasshopper's knee. This was one of the stones that for years I was unable to get a hold of. And I had my crystal Bible mm -hmm. and I went through and I kind of went, okay, so these are the things that I want to achieve in my life and what stones will best help me benefit, blah, blah, blah. And Sugalite was, or Sugalite was one of them. Um, could I find it? No. Could I find it anywhere? No. I had to go to Whitby, to a crystal store that had, well, it doesn't exist anymore. And it was owned by a very nice gentleman, and there was one piece, and I still have it to this day, and it's yay big. It's a rough, it's not even tum tumbled properly, but I absolutely adore it. But I will always remember that this is one of the most difficult stones that I've Gosh. ever managed to source. And I've only ever encountered it a handful of times. A handful of times, if even that. So for me, it's very, very special. It's Sugarlite, because it's named after the Japanese founder of it. And it's actually a rare variety of, of the stone that it is. And you don't get it very often. 
which is probably one of the reasons why it took me a long time to find it. But isn't it the most magnificent colour? See, for a layman looking at that and some of the stones and, and strands that we've had recently over the past couple of years, I would have gone straight in and thought it was a blue opal. Yes. Yeah, no. I'm, straight away, yeah. looking at it, you would think it was a blue opal. Yeah. No, I'd be right there That's with you, beautiful. actually. It's, it's magical. So rarity, then, it's, it's something to have in your collection. It's a collector's stone, yeah. Mm. Um, mm. I've, I've not seen many examples of it, so to actually have a strand of it like this, it's, it's fabulous. And I just get it for the sake of it, because if you're a collector of stones mm. anyway, to actually have it in your collection in such a massive quantity is wow. magnificent, absolutely magnificent. 50 carats. And I'll even go as far as to say, oh, I, I would say I wouldn't even cut the strand, but actually it's so pretty, I would want to wear it. Oh, it's, wow. it's actually never been as low as you've seen before. Wow. 49.95, it's a pound a carat right now. It's a pound a carat. I remember when I actually bought the, the Suggerlite, the mine, which I still have, and I've just recently refound it since moving house. Quite a few of my stones have been mm. misplaced. Um, and I've recently refound it, and I forgot just how much, it wasn't, it wasn't a cheap, cheap stone. It wasn't mm. a cheap, because it's so unusual. Um, I'll have to put a photograph on it on, on uh, Facebook. Yeah. It's really mm. lovely. Um, but you are getting something really magical. And just get it while Beautiful. you can. Or South Africa. It's fabulous, mm. isn't it? Absolutely fabulous. I can't remember where it is, but there's something about the formation of it which is what makes it quite rare. And there wow. is only like a tiny amount of places in the world mm. that you can actually source it from. That's Beautiful look. Make wow. sure you're checking out on these ones. Definitely make sure. Very much a collector's stone. Got another message come through. Is it from Laura again? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a ah. fact! Yes, Louisa, hello! The word sheriff comes from the medieval Shire Reef. Um, he oversaw the admin of Shires. Loving the show. I like that. Mm. Yeah. Do we have my sirlo sirloin one? No. Fact, I'll tell you that in the, after, the, after this thing. Oh. It's really good. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Guess what? It's chocolate moonstone time. <laughs> I am, um, I'm looking, I'm looking for the one that, which is this one. This mm. is the one that we would actually just buy the strand yeah. for. And I've just spotted another one, which oh, has the same oh, kind of, that. yeah. That faceting is extraordinary. I've it's never magical, seen this isn't faceting it? before. Really, really magical. So these are chocolate moonstone. And you know, moonstone has an amazing effect anyway. So moonstone is part of the Felspar family and that family is renowned for its optical phenomena. Um, you've got labradorite, you've got uh, moonstone, you've got such an amazing selection of, of optical qualities for each of these. And well, you can see it. I think it really, really shows it to its full extent on oh, a stone look, like this. Even from this far away, look at that stone. That is just... I love that faceting. I think the faceting is beautiful on this. The faceting makes it, yeah. doesn't it? It's a very, very classy strand, mm. I think, isn't it? It is mm. indeed. So, OK, so you've got this strand. This is your strand, Mark. Yep. What are you going to do with I it? I would put each individual single stone on rose gold plated memory wire necklace and just have single necklaces. Nice. And I'll sell them for a tenner each. Which is a bargain. Yeah. Which Beautiful. is an absolute bargain. Yeah. I just put a little a little bead either side, but that just keep it really simple because the star of the show, I don't think you'd want to put anything with that. No. You just want that to sit in the nape of the neck and just glitter and I think it's stunning. Yeah, it would look amazing. Absolutely amazing. So I've just been told this is actually going to go to a brand new low price. It's never been under You're... 20 pounds before. Can I just joking. remind you, there are only 30 of these remaining in the building. Oh. So that is not a huge quantity. Wow. Not a huge quantity at all. And there's 29 now. Um, there's going to be a lot of you wanting to get more than one of these. You need to see Mark's face right now because there's That's... pain. There's pure pain on his face of knowing he's not going to get one. <laughs> That's extraordinary. It is an amazing opportunity. Now, the previous closing price is on the screen. Which is fantastic. Yeah. 
I would absolutely pay that. I'd pay that for the fasting alone. I, I just love that. This one coming around now, look, it's a perfect yes. symmetry, isn't it? That's, you see real, that's real craftsmanship, yeah. isn't it? The beauty of it is, is that they've taken a stone that has an optical quality and they've yeah. added to it. Yeah rather than taken away, because sometimes it's quite easy to detract from it, but actually it really helps to emphasize it because when the light bounces off the facets, it lights up even more. So it's adding more sparkle and more twinkle to it. So it's adding an extra wow factor. Yeah, I commend the Lapidrist on this yes. one. Absolutely, even, even on the side. On the edges, yeah. <laughs> Even on the edges. Now, I have promised you a brand new lowest price point on this one. I mean, how, have we got, how many have we got on the strand? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16. 16, approximately 16 on the strand. Ooh. Thank you. So he's just said he's gonna take it down now. Oh, already? No. Okay, so apparently it's now £1.87 per stone. I thought it was going to take it down to £1.87, which is why I thanked him, because I thought that was a brilliant price. It's going lower than £1.87 a stone. Are you ready? Oh, no, you, he's, oh, he is doing it. Okay. He is doing it, yeah. Lowest, Lowest ever price point. Never been seen at this price point before. 19.95. There is already a bit wow. of a wait on those phone lines. Can I just say, if it's in your basket, please check it out. Essex, North Lanarkshire, West Yorkshire. There's less than 20 now. Um, North Yorkshire, London, Greater London, uh, Worcestershire. Taryn, well done, my darling. Alison, well done. You've got yours. Delia, you've got yours as well. Collector in London, congratulations. Karen, congratulations. Yes. Elaine, congratulations. Debbie, congratulations. It is an amazing strand. You're going to love it. It's almost purple tones in yeah, there as well, yeah. It's, it's sort of a mink. Imagine mink Ooh. or satin, you know, like yeah. a nice satin mink. Oh, yes. Mark, you are describing it perfectly. Mm. Laura, it's still a bap. <sighs> still going to get that in. It's a bap. They call it cob where I am now. Half the stock wow. is now gone. Half the stock has now gone. The thing is, you've got so many gemstones on here that all have their own personality and all have their own yeah. characteristics. You do not need to use more than one. What do we like on the neckline? Do you want to see as, what it looks as like? As it is, yeah. Mm. So mm. take out these little spaces and, and pop in. I'm trying to think what colour I'd put with it. A really nice rose mm. quartz or a morganite tone. Or just simple like that. Do you know what? I'll take it oh. back. Mm. Forget using one. Use them all! Use them all. That oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. It's that faceting for me. That's the yeah. star of this yeah. stand. I've never seen faceting like this before. Imagine wearing this yeah. at your Christmas party. Imagine wearing this on Christmas Day. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a party mm. strand. Mm. That is an absolute party strand. I'm loving it. There's so much beauty and so much intricacy in every single one of these. Stunning, stunning. Check those baskets out as soon as you can, my darlings. I cannot promise that everyone's going to get it now. If you're watching the repeat, I'm really sorry, but I don't think they're going to be there. You still have your 30 day money back guarantee. You still have your free phone number. You still have a one postage and packaging fee, which means if you want two of these, you can have two of these. If you want three of these, you can have three of these. If you want to buy it so you can gift the entire strand to a friend, then you've got the 30 day money back guarantee, which means you can gift it at Christmas and still get a refund if they don't like it. They are gonna love it. They're gonna absolutely love it. Um, keep checking those baskets out, my darlings. Now next, wow. oh, oh ho 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 ho. This is the first time I've seen this. I like marshmallows, <gasps> aren't they? They're like the new variety of marshmallows. You know, the artisanal ones where they're huge. Oh, yeah. Huge. The big, the big, <laughs> and you just go and you choose one piece and it lasts you for like a month. Um, well, there's 85 wow. carats of this. I love the Phos fact that you're on this whole food journey with me. You can tell I'm hungry, can't you? Yeah. Phosphosiderite. Phosphosiderite. Do you know why it's called phosphosiderite? It contains. It contains phosphorus. Yeah. yeah, and it also contains iron. 
So a, the siderite yeah. is the iron. Oh, I think okay. it's Greek for iron right. or something along those lines. Um, so it's basically literally named after its composition, but you wouldn't have expected this particular mm. colour, would you? Argentina. Think Gosh, of an... We're going around the globe tonight. I know. That's definitely not near Redditch. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not no. the closest stone to Redditch. <coughs> 20 pounds again. Last nine chances, another collector's stone. You don't see it very often. This is the first time I've ever encountered wow. it, um, which is really lovely. And it's got almost a magical quality to it. In fact, I would very much love to put this with jadeite. Oh, yes. yes. There's a softness mm. to the colour that or I think would complement. Or the shire we had earlier. <gasps> yes. that, was, that would work, wouldn't it? Or even yeah. the thulite. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Those that would make an amazing are... kit, wouldn't yes. it? A really high-end kit. Can we just put the through like the uh, Sharite is on the screen for you right now. Well, that works as well. There you go. It's incredible. Wow. Um, talking about kits, it is kit time in the next hour, and it's going to be a fantastic one. So sit back, get yourself a brew, and we shall see you right after this. Join us this Wednesday on Jewelry Maker for the gem setting day. We have got the most stunning deal of the day for you, Ethiopian nuggets. As well as that, we're going to be bringing to you the deluxe gem setting toolkit so that you can create unique pieces. We also have for you yellow sapphire, aquamarine, pink amethyst, and a selection of pearls and everything to suit your gem setting needs. As well as that, we've also gonna be joined by the incredible Hayley Kruger and the wonderful Fleur Hastings. So join us at Jewelry Maker this Wednesday for Gem Setting Day. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewelry making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Now, I'm doing that. Can you talk to me, Min? Hello, yes! You're back. Oh, no, it's gone. It's gone again. Oh, oh no, it's there. You just, have to, you just have to stay like that all evening. Don't move. Just in this one position. Yeah. It does yeah. seem to be when I move. So basically what's happening, I'll let you know, I'm not, I'm not going completely do lally I'm not 
doing that for just for the sake of it, um, that, that gets a little bit of moisture in between the connections of my earpiece and it just cuts out completely. And it's like oh. you lose your friends who are there saying five, four, three, what's happening? I don't know what's going on. Um, so, okay. Yeah. See, this is the reason why I need the earpiece, because I was about to show you this strand and say this is going to be my star buy at the end of this hour. And uh, Ross has decided that's not going to be the case. So this is, in fact, guess what the stone is, because I don't think you'll guess it straight away. No. Chrysocola. Is it? Yeah. That's yeah. really unusual. It looks like a jasper, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Maybe a little bit emeraldy. It's, it, it does look like a jasper. It's not. It's chrysocolla. Um, did you find out the location for me, darling? You did say you were going to do that. This is actually going to come at half past eight. Um, it's 85 carats. I, I thought Russia. Oh. Is it Congo? It's Peruvian. Yes! So we normally know um, the chrysocolla that we see mo most often is from Congo. That's, that's one of the biggest sources of mm. chrysocolla, and that tends to be the darker colours. So more of the darker browns, more of the darker blues that come in. This is actually Peruvian. So you've got a very different feel to this one. That's going to be my star buy at half past eight, and it is going under £20. I'm right in saying that, aren't I? Too late now. Because it doesn't feel like it's the right <laughs> thing to say. <laughs> it wasn't on that one. I've said it now, then. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's got, we've got to stick to it, though, now. OK, apparently that's not the one that's going under £20, but it, we're going to have to. Okay, have a look at the web of what the price is. This is the one that's supposed to be going under £20. That shouldn't be under £20. Either. No, I know, um, I know. But I think um, I've just I've made a huge mistake on the Chrysocolla, but I think we might have to honour that. Human mistake? So are the... Are the... Wow. I'm getting... <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so this one's at the end of this hour and it is going to go under £20, even though, again, it's another one that really you wouldn't expect it to go no, under 20 no. This is the one that Ross was actually telling me was going under 20 and I've just made... Oh, are you? So you are should you be Mrs it? Christmas. I am Mrs... I've actually been playing Mrs Claus as well. You I've have, done a couple yeah. of uh, mm. Christmas light switch ons as mm. Mrs Claus. My daughter doesn't recognise me. It's, it's quite scary. So I would um, advise, due to... Um, Mrs. Claus's mistake. I would grab that straight away. It's on pre-order now. I yeah. would snaffle it. It wasn't supposed to go under £20. I've made a mistake. If you actually look at pre-order on this, it's £49.95. OK? So you're going to get it better than half price. Grab that. I think I might grab one of those as well. <laughs> it's limited edition as well. Um, so I wanna, I'm not going to apologise. Do you know what? I'm going to no. embrace it. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. So the dendritic, that's coming up at half past eight. The dendritic agate is coming up at the end of the hour, this hour. Um, and then at eight o'clock, this is my must have. This one's also going on pre order. We did say we we're going to do it in this hour, didn't we? So we are. It is Botswana agate. It's the second order of it. The first time we bought it, we had a huge quantity and it sold out. Now, it's the same as the item we had yesterday where we managed to reorder it, but we could only get 100 of them. Same incidents here. We've got 100 there for you. Mm. Um, yeah. So, you know, I would, I would think now, I would think, well, that strand of Christ, sorry to rub. To no, run, I know. I, I, know. Would, I would say to myself, well, the Christ of Cola was £50. It's now £20. Mm. That gives me 30 quid. In my, I said that quid word again. £30 in my back pocket. I'm going to have a splurge. Can I just say the reason we both mm. went very silent then mm. um, was because Ross has indicated that. Could you just repeat it just mm. so I'm not going to get it wrong? It is definitely going under £10. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. 
Right, okay, so yeah. we've, the Chrysler Color as well, a little bit of a warning on that one. We don't have huge quantities. Uh, four of them That's have already gone. That's a little thank you from us. It is, for, yeah. For joining us this evening. You said we'd be giving out presents, didn't we? Yes. <laughs> We're being festive. Um, we the, This one, if you look at the website right now, this is a Chrysler Cola from Peru, oh. so it's not your average Chrysler Cola. It's, mm. it's not the variety you expect to see from the Congo. Um, this should be, and if you look at the website right now, it's £49.95, okay? On the website, that is what it is. I was told that this was going <laughs> under 20. And as you've probably noticed when Ross is there, I tend to not listen to what he says. So I thought he meant this was going under 20. And now he's going to have to honour it. Honour, 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 honour. Can you just clarify that honor. this is going under 10 oh, pounds, can I just, not that? Yeah, so this, this <laughs> is going under 20. <coughs> That's Bargain. the Chrysler Cola. This is also going under 20, but actually it's going under 10. Mm. Mm. We have 100 of these. We definitely don't have 100 of these. Mm. The, are you, what, really? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I am so sorry. Bless I'm not sorry. You. I'm not sorry. I'm not, no, I'm, I'm embracing it. It's amazing. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, so this was supposed to come up in my next hour at 8.30 because of how popular they are on pre-order. 60% oh, <laughs> of the stock's already gone. So uh, Ross has decided we're doing it as a start by right now. Love a bit of Chrysler Cola. Chrysler Cola is known as the Goddess Stone. Um, and so the reason I love Chrysler Cola, and you probably already know this story anyway, is because I named my daughter after the goddess of the earth, Gaia. So that's because I love gemstones mm. and all things earth. So Gaia was the name that was chosen. Um, so when I found out that Chrysler Cola was the goddess stone, I kind of went, I really need some of that for my daughter. And I asked my mum, because she always goes up and down the country and looks in, she loves the crystals as well. So she looks in crystal stores, she looks on marketplaces, and she's always really good at finding things. So I set her this little challenge of finding a Chrysler Cola. And there were so many mishaps, and this has taken the place over a, a year Wow. Over a year, I think it was two years in total by the time I managed to get the piece that I've got now, which she bought for me as a gift rather than for my daughter, uh, mainly because I was obsessed with it. But she bought two tiny pieces back and I thought that's brilliant, that's it. Next journey she went out on, she came back with a shard and she went, I was told this is quite a colour, I don't think it is. And it wasn't, it was, a, it was basically a coated stone oh, with no. blue and oh. green colours. Um, and then I finally got a piece, but again, it's not a stone that is seen very often. Oh, ek. <laughs> Ecky thump. Yeah. Ecky thump. Um, can I just, I'm sorry, I've just seen how many people are on the phone lines for this. I can see why Ross has now bought it here and now. Um, it was going to go, well, 49.95 is what you're seeing on the screen. That is what you saw on, on the uh, website as well. Now, he picked it out as a star buy because he was going to take it to 34.95, maybe 29 pounds. Now, I don't always listen as well as I should do to Ross, and my earpiece has been cutting out. In fairness, Let's my earpiece that. has, it's, it's, my yeah. earpiece, my earpiece, and yeah, we've already seen yeah, that that's happened. Yeah, yeah. Um, so my earpiece has been cutting out. So when he said this one's going under 20, I thought he was, it was supposed to be this one, which is the uh, dendrite. I thought he was talking about the Chrysler Cola. So if you just tuned in, we've honored that price. In theory, we could have said it was my mistake and therefore we weren't gonna honor that price, but Ross is very, very good. And he has honored the price point for you. So £19.95 for a strand of an amazing gem. So not only that, but it's mm. not your average Chrysler Cola. The majority of Chrysler Cola, the biggest source of it is the Congo. So when you see Chrysler Cola, that's what you expect to see. The reason I question the location is because this is nothing like the Chrysler no, Cola you see in no, the Congo. No, I would wear that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I really like that colour. Yeah, I love that. You know how Peru has opals and it mm. has the pink opals and the green opals yes. and the white opals yeah. and the blue opals? It's almost like that kind of mm. the landscape has been transferred to this particular stone. It's incredible, really beautiful. I'm in love with this strand completely. And if you looked at this when you first tuned in and thought, well, that's a nice jasper, it's got that feel to it, doesn't it? It's not jasper at all, it's quite a cola. It's gone. Oh. It's gone. There are so many in baskets right now. There's 22 in baskets and it has 
gone, I'm afraid. Um, that's not including the people on the phone lines who've missed out as well. So can I just say a huge apology to those well of you who've missed out and a huge congratulations to everyone who's got it. Because that was incredible. Um, and if you love this, you'll love the one that was supposed to be going under £20, which is the Dendry Agate, which again is a strand you just don't expect to no. see going under 20 They're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. Just simple chain length lariat, little chain tassel, mm. just keep it nice and simple. Yeah, loving that, absolutely. Also liking the idea of just mm. one as a yeah. bracelet. Yeah. I think it's, it's big enough to be really dramatic, but not big enough to be uncomfortable mm. to wear. Yeah, I really like that. So that's coming up. When's this one now? The end of this hour. So this one's coming up at the end of this hour, which then brings us to kit time. It is kit time, believe it or not. Oh, OK. Yeah, Mark's just been informed. So you were... getting the clock in. Yeah. Yeah, the price on this is going to be amazing. Now, the question is, it did tell us sort of where it was going to go. I don't think he's been truthful with us. I think he's going to take it lower than... Oh, do you? Yeah. That's a bit naughty. Yeah. Well, it's Ross, isn't it? It's not exactly... Mm. He's the bad boy, isn't he? I think this is only the third time I've worked with Ross. Is it? Mm. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. I've worked with Ross for a number of years. You have history. We have history. Mm, right. <laughs> Shall we see what's in the kit before we completely annihilate the price point of it? So what you're going to get in this. Now, what was the name of the kit? Winter Days. Winter days. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that. I do like that. So you'll be getting rose gold coloured silver plated copper wire, 10 metres of 0.4. And you will be getting 10 metres of the 1 mil. So do you like the combination of the 1 mil and the 0.4? Yes, I either like, because, because this was a wire macrame kit, either 0 0.4 and 0 0.8 or 0.4 and 1 millimetre. So you have 1 millimetre. Nice. But the only, the only, sometimes the issue that I have with a 1 mil is that it won't go through the drill holes. Yes. It will go through every single stone in this kit. Really? So it's perfect. Yep. So if you want to do straightforward bangles rather than putting a clasp on a bracelet, it will work. it's perfect. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Every brilliant, single brilliant. stone, including the little six mils there. Yeah, so you wouldn't have expected no, that, would you? No, but they go on beautifully. 0.8, I would have said, would have gone through yeah, that. But yeah. if you can get one a one mil, mil through, that's through incredible. Every single stone. Love it. Now, then we've got, did you say pumpkin cut? Yeah. Pumpkin cut. And don't, don't quote me on this, but I think that I've heard on the show that our pumpkin cut gemstones are faceted exclusively by ladies. That's interesting. So our cutting house, the pumpkin cuts are, um, are um, cut by ladies. That's very interesting. Mm, now I've yeah, been to cutting yeah, houses and yeah. you don't get very many ladies doing no, the cutting. So no. that's, that's mm -hmm. incredible. Yeah. That's incredible. Very um, lovely, aren't so they? you've got 70 carats, the six mil in size and the pumpkin cut is such a gorgeous cut, isn't it? Look at the effect. It does almost mm, create the pumpkin kind of feel yeah, to it. It's, it's brilliant. And then we've got puffy rectangles, and these are also agates. <laughs> 160 oh, carats this time. I love the banding. Size-wise, they're 10 by 14 mil. They're like mint humbugs, aren't they? <gasps> they're lovely. Ooh. Food again. <laughs> oh. Do you know, I haven't seen a bullseye for a long no, time. No, I've not either. No. I used to love a bullseye. Yeah. Oh, I do. I do. In fact, there's an optical, um, oh, I can't think of what it's called. I suppose an anomaly, but when, you look, when you're testing gemstones, one of the things you look for um, is a bullseye. Oh, really? I can't remember what it's called. A bullseye, it's not distinction. It might be. Oh. Ex a bullseye extinction, extinction, I think it's called. Right. And it literally does look like a bullseye. Oh. It's bizarre. It is bizarre. So, the last one you're going to get. Oh, I this like is really these. unusual, isn't it? Two gemstones for the price of one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You've got grey agate rice beads, and then you've got spacer beads as well. And they're the black agate, I yes. believe. Yes, yeah. Beads. The spacers yeah. are black agate, yeah. yeah. But I love the effect because it's almost like dendrite again, isn't it? Now, if you were to go to the website and you were to buy all these individually, so three different strands, two spools of your wire, it would come to £41.75. Bargain. 
The reason Ross has decided to put the minute clock in is because it's going nowhere near that. Better than half price. It's going under £20. One minute clock. Again, I think the theme for the evening shows over the last few days has been quite low quantities. And even though it's a kit, which normally you'd expect to see 100, 200, um, we don't have a huge quantity. Now, in this kit, you are getting one, two, three, four, five different items, all for under 20 pounds. Which is amazing, considering the fact it should be 40 odd pounds. It's going under 20. It's better than half price is a deal that you're going to get on this one. So if you want to get your hands on them, in fact, can we just have a look at some of the jewellery that's been made? Because if you're thinking, well, it's fantastic, but I don't know what I can do with it, this is what you can do with it. I've just had a quick tally, and it would be £125 on my stall for all of my all the jewellery that I made. That's amazing. I, love I that should have one. put that on a white bust, I think, that necklace. It still looks effective. Mm, yeah, I love them. It's all, it's all wire macrame, this kit. It's lovely. It's magic. All of mm, it's magic. Well, I mm, love well. what you've done. Really, really do. But then I always love your work. Are you ready? Right, the one minute is gone. The graphics are on the screen. It's now time to dial in. Everything you're seeing is going to be under £20. And what was the price point you totted up? 125. 125. And do you have yeah. much left over? I've got some of the rice beads left, but I used, I was determined to use everything because it was such an amazing kit. It really is. Are the it? six mil faceted pumpkins, I just, I just love them. Just love, I love faceted black gemstones. I absolutely love they them. work so really classic. nicely, They're yeah. They're so classical. And it's perfect for this time of the year as well. I was absolutely season. delighted that we got that bundle coming up as well. Yes. We're going oh. to work with it. Actually, yes, perfect, this is coming yeah. up a little there bit later on. How much is that bundle? That's really good. Uh, how much have we saved on this kit? Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. <coughs> just saying. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. I'm just, yeah. Are you ready for uh, your price? Everyone pays that final low price, remember that. Even if you come in now at £41.75, everyone pays that final low price. At this moment in time, quarter of the stock has gone. 1995. Oh, wow. Again, it's a lovely old school kit, isn't it? It really is. It's so oh, it's nice lovely. to see as well, the colour combination, because it's that monochromatic tone that just goes mm, at any mm, season. Mm. And it works out at £4 a component. So £4 a strand. Four pound for your wire. That's brilliant. Isn't it? That's ace. Collector in Suffolk, congratulations. Elaine, congratulations. Christina, congratulations. Sue, Hilda, well done to you as well. Everyone has managed to get a hold of them. You're going to love it. Absolutely. I love that grey agate as well. I've never had it, I've never worked with it before. And it's it beautiful. reminds me, my nan used to have quite a lot of 1970s glass. On a, oh. on, a, um, on a chest of drawers in a living room. The and there were these shaped ones as yes, well, yeah. the vases with those brown swirls yeah. and things. It just reminded me, it took me right back to my nan. Yeah, I know the ones so, you mean. Yeah. My nan used to have those as well. Yeah. yeah, I think they were Murano. I'm sure it was some sort of Murano. Probably or, was, you know, it was um, massive though, wasn't another it? Another version. Yeah, yeah. massive. So, yeah, you know exactly what I meant, that was good. Yeah, look, if you look at it now, look, it just reminds me of those, mm. those glass ornaments. They were always really lovely as well. Mm. Ooh. I don't often make rings. Don't often make rings, but that's, that's, that's gorgeous that's, though. So that's macrame all the way around, and then with a little little swell. Oh, so it's adjustable so it's as well. Adjustable, fully adjustable as well. So that's only using three of those stones. You know, that that would be a fiver. Really? Yeah. Not yeah. more. I would have charged more. No, 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 only a fiver. Five for a tenner. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. Five is good. Sixty pound. I'd sell up for the necklace. I really yeah. Like the necklace. Yeah. So that's sixty pound, and that's because I've done. So these little pieces here are, are the, the macrame, little sections here. And then I've, I've done a bit of chain mail, I've done a bit of um, making little motifs and then joining them all together to make it. So it's long enough to, to hang over the head as a lariat as well. But I've just used a minimum of stone, so no, it's cool. It's gorgeous in every single way. I love to think you're underpriced in it as well. <laughs> there we are, do you? I do, I do. I love the earrings that go with it. They're cool, aren't they? Yeah. If just, yeah, if I just turn them around so you can see the sides. It's just following on. And that was a happy accident, because I made it, because incorporating those into the necklace, it would have been far too long, so I thought, well, I'll just keep those to one side and turn them into earrings. Yeah, it works. So they're really fun. Yeah, it really works, lovely. Really fun. Now, what will you be demoing for? So I'm going to show you how to macrame unusual shaped 
B, so I'm going to do that. So That's I'm the going, point, because it's normally round, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so I'm going to show you how mm. to how to macrame using this strand with the with the with the rice beads and the and the black spacer beads. Okay, so what I've got, I've got my small macrame board. Now I'm not going to do a whole bracelet length. I'm going to do a half a length. Okay, so I'm going to turn the board sideways and I'm going to flip it over so you can see better. So I've taken a piece of the point of the one millimetre, so that's going to be my bangle. Okay. So I'm going to place it on my board, just, just straighten it out. And then on that piece of one mil, you're going to pop on your choice of beads. So I'm going to go for the, this is, I'm going to use the beads that are on the strand. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to thread on the little beads first. So as you can see, one mil, easy. Yeah, it really is. It's absolutely simple. easy. Yeah. No, not even having to try no. and coax it on, no. it just literally goes and as on. You can see, all, this is, as I said, these are all the one mil, which is really unusual to get one mil on drill hole beads. Yeah. So, it's, so it's absolutely brilliant. So I won't do the whole length, but you just pop on enough beads to um, make sure it's the right length for your wrist. So I'm, oops. So am I right in thinking this strand or wire is the lazy wire? Yeah, that's right. Brilliant. Absolutely. Yep. So I'll just find the drill hole. Okay, so I'll stop there and I'll just put those to one side. So this is your one millimetre. Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pop it on the bottom of our board. And what I tend to do too, um, I don't like, if I'm especially using one millimetre wire, I don't like bring it, bringing it to the front and then wrapping it through, because yeah. it, it makes it quite difficult then to straighten it out. So all I do is I flip it over and I just pull the wires, like try to use it as a lever just to pull it nice and tight. Okay, so that's the back of the board. So I'm gonna flip it over, I'm gonna put those down to the side, and then I'm taking a piece of 0.4. You don't actually need very much, you probably only need for a full bracelet about three foot length. So it's not, it's hardly, really? any, it's hardly any length at all. So I'm gonna take my 0.4 wire, and this is my working wire, so I'm going to take that underneath the lazy, and I'm going to do a series of basic square knots. Okay. Now you see it, the, the wire at the moment is pretty flyaway, but as you use it and you're softening it and you're, you're pulling it through your fingers, it becomes more and more manageable. But you'll find that with lots of our wire, you just need to soften first of all. I suppose you work hardening it at the same yep, time, aren't absolutely. you? Absolutely, yeah. So we'll just do a couple more of our little knots. That's one full square. So a full square knot is a left and a right side of the, of the work. So we'll just do the left. And then we'll do the right. And I always do a little section of, they call it, if it doesn't include a bead, it's called naked knotting. Oh. So I always do a section of naked at the beginning because that's going to be under the wrist. And if you, put, if you um, have beads under the wrist, it can be quite uncomfortable. So I always do a little section of... I've got all kinds of visuals now. Of naked knotting. Yes. Yes. I remember, I remember when Jamie Oliver, going back to food, Jamie Oliver yeah, did the yeah, naked, naked chef. chef. I was so disappointed. And, and everyone when... tuned in for the wrong reason. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. I was so disappointed yeah. when he had his clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why is it called the naked chef? Why? Yeah, I don't know. Because yeah. I think it's, it's sort of... Oh, I, I've got to be careful how I word it now. <laughs> it's back to the bare bones, isn't it? It's really yes. base, it's stripping simple it basis. Back, yeah. Stripping it back. That's the word. I love that's the style of cooking. It's fantastic. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so we've got our little section of our, our naked beading. So then I'm going to take up one of our little six millimeter that you get on the strand. I'm going to cage that in. So again, caging is exactly the same. You do a left and a right side and it just cages the bead. So this is your basic macrame, but um, using the wire. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my rice bead up and I'm gonna do something a bit different. Okay, because I wanted to, instead of just caging around the side, I wanted to, to make a feature of these beads because I've never worked with them mm. before. So I'm going to take the left wire and I'm going to drape it across and I'm going to feed it back underneath the lazy strand. Okay, so just take your time with this. So bringing that round, make sure it's nice and tight and then use the slots in the sides of your board to attach, to anchor that wire in position. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the same with the other. So I'm going to take it across. I'm going to pop it underneath the lazy strand and I'm going to bring that across. Okay, so pull nice and tight. Now at the moment that cross isn't central. Can you see it's, it's, more, yeah. it's more at the bottom of the, mm -hmm. of the bead? So what you would then do is you'd go in with your round nose pliers or your bead awl and uh, you just straighten it so it sits in the corner. And once it finds oh. itself, once it finds itself, it sits nice and neatly in the centre. And then I'm going to pop up, before I do anything else, I'm going to pop up the next round bead and then I'm going to cage that. Now can you see it's starting to, to pop out? Yeah. Now if you didn't have this round bead in, it would... Um, you'd get big kinks in it and it would be an absolute nightmare to tighten. But because you've got that bead in place, 
You've got kinks and naked now. And naked, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you, can you see, because you've got that bead in the way, it's pulling everything nice and tight. Yeah. So then we're going to... It kind of anchors it, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So then we're going to square knot that. And if that does come out of position, that seems to have popped back in actually, doesn't mm -hmm. it? You've got, the, you've got that nice and central. So we're going to take up the next bead. We're going to do the same. So you're going to go across with one side and under. Pulling it nice and tight. Anchor on the side of your board. That's what these, these boards are amazing because that, you know, these slots really do come into their own when you're using wire. Do you know what they're reminding me of right now? Mm. Matryoshka dolls. What are they? Um, the, the Russian stacking dolls. Oh yes. Obviously the, uh, they're yeah, not. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're just going to position that. I think Matryoshka means mother. Oh, okay. No, Babushka's uh, grandma. And then we're going to pull that second bead. So as soon as you start pulling that second bead, it tightens everything up with the, the one above. And then we're just going to do our little section of Knotting. So imagine that's the length of your your bracelet you want to go down to. So we're just going to do some knots here. So if Amelia can just have a look at the, if I bring these two bracelets here, you can see I've done the same technique but using the different stones. Oh yeah. So you can see. So that's with the with the the rice beads that I'm using with the demo. It kind of creates infinity loops, it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And then the bracelet, the 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 bracelet to the other side, you can see using the. Um, there we go. So you can, again, you can get that amazing yeah. little swirl. So I'm just going to finish off this little section of knotting. Okay. And then we're going to take it off our board. And I'll just quickly show you how we're going to finish. So I'm taking that off the board. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of my working wires. So um, we've got our last square knot. So I'm going to take one of the wires and I'm going to wrap it all the way around my lazy strand once and then cut it off. Go in and cut. I'm going to take the second wire, I'm going to do the same, so I'm just going to wrap it all the way around, keeping it nice and tight. I'm going to cut that off. And then what I'm going to do either end is I'm going to do a little wrap loop. And don't be put off because you're using one millimeter wire. Because it's once you if you if you keep a long enough piece of wire to act as a lever, you can actually do quite a nice little wrap loop because you've got something to leave around mm. and purchase. I'm just going to wrap that round a couple of times. I suppose you could use tweezers to help. You could, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that we've got our design on the top, which I've got. And then I thought about just cutting off that wire, but I thought I'd do something, give it a little flourish. So I'm cutting the wire, leaving about an inch, like so. And I'm going to take my round nose pliers and I'm going to do a tight little loop. So in effect, you're making a little eye pin loop, you've got your little letter P. And then using my flat nose pliers, I'm just going to make a really nice tight little swirl, little snail swirl. I'm just going to take that all the way around. And I'm going to place that over a little section of knotting. So you can see it sits nicely and it just adds another little flourish. That's really lovely. So you do the same the other side. And if I show you what I've done with the back of the bracelet. So there's the, there's the back, so you can see the two little little snail so as little flourishes and then I've finished with a couple of homemade jump rings and then I've made my clasp out of the one mill so I've not used any findings from a findings pack I've made my shepherd's hooks I've made my clasps I've made my jump rings everything from the one millimeter wire so, so as you can see it's a really nice way of adding a little flourish to the outside of your wires and if you wanted to you could double up your point four oh. and do two rounds so you've got more of a statement on top of your your rice beads it's a really nice little, yeah, it's a little touch, rather than just caging it yeah. normally. It's really cute. I'm going to go back really to cute. my fallback. Yep. And the piece that you've just done, yep. I would really like to do a, um, we had a rose gold plated slider bracelet. Oh, yes. And because oh, you've got perfect. the loops on the ends. Yes, you can attach it to that. Yeah. That's a good idea as well. Yeah. And it yeah. would really go with it. Yeah. The it's look lovely. is amazing. I just love, I, mean, I think the rose gold against that opaque of that agate, it's just yes, beautiful, it really yeah. works, isn't it? It's stunning, yeah, elegant, brilliant. stunning. Yeah, now don't fantastic. forget, if you love this kit, you've actually saved 21 pounds, what was it, 21 pounds? 80 yeah, yeah. pence, because it should have been over 40 pounds for this kit, so 19.95 is what you'll be paying. You are going to get 10 <coughs> litres of the 0 0.4, 
10 meters of the one mil and that is your rose gold colored silver plated copper wire. You will then get the strand that Mark was working with, which is your gray agate with the black agate, agate, agate spacers. You'll then get your puffy rectangles as well, also agate. And then you're gonna get your pumpkin cut six, six mil rounds. <coughs> Yeah. Well, six mil, yeah. wasn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah. six mil rounds. So you've got a fantastic collection of gemstones. And if you do want to add to this kit, I have got a bundle coming up later on. In fact, we'll bring it to you now. So Might how as much well. did we save from the Chrysocola? So, Chrysocola, was it, was it 30 pound saving? Which is, which is burning a hole in your back pocket. It's burning a hole in the back pocket, definitely. I know pocket, what I would definitely. do with it. Um, You've just saved yeah. 21 pounds on this as well. So that's over 50 pounds in your back pocket. It's like going, a gift voucher, isn't it? Yes. It's not real money. But yes. I love gift vouchers. I love gift vouchers. Well, it's gift cards now, isn't it? Yeah. It's not the same. I love that. I just love the feel of the, the paper. Yeah. And you kind of go, it's, it's, yeah. It, yeah, it's like Monopoly money, isn't it? My first seven inch single, which was I'm in the mood for dancing by the Nolan sisters. And it was a pound gift voucher for Woolworths with a little tear off end. Amazing. I'll take what you was, back. I, yeah. Do you know, I think, yeah. I, I can't remember my very first one side or two side, mm. um, but my first album was Elvis Presley. Really? Yeah. Wow. You would have expected that, would you? Yeah. No. Elvis Presley, the one no. that had um, wooden heart on it. So he would have passed away when you bought it then. Oh yeah, no, yeah, he was long way well away. gone. Well yeah. gone. Yeah. Well gone. Yeah. How old was I? I'm not that old. <laughs> 77 he passed away, wasn't it? Yeah, no, I was yeah. I was born in 82, so 77, a few, few years. But my mum and dad always listened to yeah. Elvis Presley and obviously David Bowie and mm. ABBA. Yeah. Same as my dad. And the Beatles. Yeah. So my mum was kind of introducing me to these. So when I saw it, in, it was probably oh, Woolworths as well. Yes, I was like, I want yeah. that. I miss I think Woolworths. it cost £10. I miss Woolworths. I do. I love Woolworths. Yeah, it was fab. Yeah. Now, you miss the pick -a mix It's always going back to food. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not me and Mark, it's somebody else going back to food. Right. So this is what we're going to bring oh. to you right now. So with that £50 that you saved on both the Chrysocola and the kit, you could get your hands on this. I'm not saying it's going to be 50 pounds, but mm. 400 carats wow. of your black and white agate bicones. They are 18 oh, by amazing. 17 to 21 by 19. So they actually have a little bit of a graduation on them and it's a 38 centimeter strand. They're incredible, aren't they? Yes, yes they I are. I love this shape. It's one of my favorite shapes, shapes of agate. No, it's fabulous, isn't yeah. it? Now, I'm saying that yeah. there's a little bit of graduation. It might be that it's just the size of the mm, stones. You've, yeah. got, you've got a little bit of a mix and match on the different sizes, haven't you? Because some actually cobbed. are. Well, they've cobbed them, yeah. Well done. I like, yeah, I like that cobbing. I'll remember that. It's still a bap, Laura, before you even start. <laughs> um, Laura Binding, I love you. Don't send the pictures, please. Um, so, well, 420 carats of your black stripe agate puffy rectangles, 18 by 25, and you've got 450 carats wow. of the black stripe agate puffy squares, 20 mil in size, and again, it's a 38 centimeter strand for those ones. They're amazing. Each one of those is just an individual piece of jewelry, isn't it? There's just something really dramatic about black agate as well. Yeah. That's beautiful. I love that one there. Yeah. Look at that alone. I've bought so many strands over the years purely because of one stone on that strand that I like more than any other. But that's, I think that's the mm. way to do it because mm. then that stone is calling to you and yeah. it needs to be in your life. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um, so what you're looking at on the screen right now, so what did we say? The Chrysler collar you save £30 on. The kit that we've just seen, you save 20 pounds on, so that's 50 yeah. pounds. So just yeah. put an extra one pound 85 in and you can get these gorgeous, gorgeous strands. Or can you? <laughs> We're going a lot lower than that. How about we take it to 10 pound a strand instead? So that's Chrysocola payback. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. So wow. 10 pounds for your squares, 10 pounds for your rectangles and 10 pounds for your bicone, which I think should be a lot more than mm, 10 pound yes. on its own anyway. Yeah. But you are getting all three of those strands and you're getting it for 10 pound per strand. That's better than 20 pounds saving that you're getting on these. Oh man, 
Are you out favour with the world of, of seed beads? Because we, we've not done a seed bead show together. Have you heard of carrier beads? I have, but I can't think so they're, of So they're, they're slightly oval beads with two holes, and you make little bands of peyote using delicas, and then you attach them around the carrier bead. OK. Um, 13th of February, watch this space, that's all I'm going to say. Um, but I would use these as little carrier bead jackets nice. and, just, and just make little carrier beads around them. I think they'd look lovely. Yeah, that would be really as, nice. As a background. Go on, what colour would you go with it? Turquoise. <gasps> Black and turquoise for me. They've got another strand. Oh, yeah. I love it. I just think it's one of the most dramatic. It Black just and works. turquoise does yeah. really, really it's work. It's stunning. There we are. So I'm going to be getting the mm. turquoise necklace you made for me. Yeah. And I'm going to be getting a little black dress. I have got one, but I might just invest in another one. Mm. Yeah. You can never have too many of those, can you? Got a few messages. Oh. Louise, uh, no, Alison. Hello, my darling. JM Studio, thoroughly enjoying <coughs> the show with my favourite presenter and favourite designer. Love Mark's designs and ideas. Love Laura's facts and stuff. Love you. Thank, Thank you, you. Alison. Big That's love. very Big sweet. Love. Thank Big you. Love. Yeah, that is the wonderful. Thank you. Talking of facts, I've have got we got loads. any more? I've, I've got another one now. <gasps> Do you know the difference between a pudding and a dessert? Isn't one steamed? No. Oh. No. Isn't it, isn't it, isn't it during when the French took over Britain and it's down to... No, no, it's no? much more simpler than that. No. Pudding, you eat with a spoon. A oh. dessert, you eat with a spoon and a fork. Ah. Mm. Yeah, it's like a cheesecake you'd eat with a, with a spoon and a fork. Yeah. Whereas rhubarb and custard, you'd, you'd, just you'd have, have a, spoon. a spoon. So that's the difference. Yeah, because you have cake forks, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, simple ah, as that. Yeah. Another message yeah. through as well. Yeah. Karen, beautiful jewellery as always, Mark. Oh, uh, was lovely to meet you oh, at Harrogate last week. Karen was lovely. It was Karen a good day, was wasn't it? Yeah, and massive. If any of the ladies and gents are watching, we had quite a few gents at this one. And we had um, a lovely little girl who was 11 called Emily, who came with her dad. And I, and I said to Emily that over the years that I've been workshopping, I must have met over a thousand people in workshops. Yeah and she was the youngest ever. So we gave her a little prize. We gave her a goodie oh, bag to take away. that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, she was, she was, uh, it was a lovely, it was an absolutely lovely weekend and, and people of Harrogate and Yorkshire treated us impeccably, as we would expect, and it, it was lovely. It was lovely. Did, so you, did you go out to you. eat? Because don't, Yorkshire's the big sizes. We're going back to food again, I'm sorry. Food again. Back to food again. Yes. But don't they have big sizes? Yes. Yeah. It's like, that's my ideal dream. One of our, meal, one of our meals was, was, a, was a Yorkshire pudding full of meat and veg and sausages <sighs> and things. That was lovely. Oh, talking of that, what's the, uh, the sirloin? Sirloin. Oh, imagine sirloin. the scene. Imagine the scene. Huge okay. banquet. Yeah. Charles I mm -hmm. sat on his throne, just mm -hmm. about to eat at this point. Wasn't he the party king? Yeah. Yeah. And the meal gets laid down in front of him, and right in front of him gets put this huge joint of beef, okay, mm -hmm. which was called a loin. And he was so impressed with the taste of this piece of beef that he took out his sword and he knighted this piece of beef and called it Sir Loin. And since then, it's still known as Sir Loin. It's a, it's a loin. It's a loin of beef. It's the cut. But Sir Loin because Charles I knighted it. Is that true? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's cool, isn't it? That makes a lot of sense. Mm. I'd yeah. like to know... Um, Nursery mimes. Oh yeah, some I, of them are a bit dark. Aren't yeah, they? I want to know where where mm. the because there's like pop goes the weasel. Uh, yeah, ring a ring of um, roses is the worst one. Oh yeah, that's do the plague, isn't it? Yeah, moving on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> moving on. Um, what shall I bring to you next? How oh. about this? Yeah, yeah. Sirloin. You always remember that now. Yeah, and well. you remember the day you heard it. I know. Oh, do you have to bow to us, sir? You don't, do you? I don't think so. No, I don't think Just so. Just imagine bowing in the supermarket yes, to yeah. a... <laughs> and did you also know that, it, that, if, that if a gentleman is knighted and becomes a sir, his wife automatically becomes lady. Oh. But if a lady is made a dame, the man doesn't receive any title. Oh. Yeah. That's a bit... Mm. Just not saying. good. Just saying. Yeah. Equality. Yeah. Hashtag. Yeah. Just saying. I love these. It's got to work both ways. It has got to work both ways. Um, right. How mm. light. Henry Howe. Oh, beautiful. Is that, real? Is that right? Yes. 
happy discovered. So um, there was a ooh, gypsum mine and the, there was an unknown mineral that was found which was causing the problems because obviously it's a lot harder than gypsum. Mm. So not the easiest of things to dig out when you're trying to get no. soft stone out. Um, so he came on board. He was a geologist, gemologist, mineralogist and all the other ologists, I think. Um, and he basically said, I'm going to name it something like Silica Boro oh, something. Gosh. It was a really random name. And then later on, somebody else went, we'll just call it How Light after the guy who first oh, named that's amazing. it. How Light. That's yeah, so there we are, How Light. Um, it oh. is a gorgeous stone. It's fant I love it when it's in its natural form yes. like this, when you've got no dye to it, but it does take a dye really well. Quite often, it's dyed blue and sold as. I think they call it turquoise or something along those lines. It's some it's some random like yeah. a nod to turquoise. Right. Some people are naughty and try to pass it off as turquoise and yeah. really shouldn't. That is not right at all. Um, and you will get done for it. So you've got these beautiful, Lovely. beautiful colour. And how often do we see a white stone? No, exactly. Yeah. We were talking about this the other day actually on the morning mm. show. White there are very, very, very few mm -hmm. whites. There's a white opal we've had on the show recently. Mm. Wait, that's well, from Peru, is normally. that it? Yeah. Yeah, Peru is. Yeah. Um, yes, and that's what's right. the other one? There's obviously you've got magnetite, which is very similar to this one mm. in look. Um, but you see, yeah, not many, not no. many. Well done, my darlings. <gasps> Ooh, I love this shape. Is this spinel? Love... Oh, yes. You can tell, can't you? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Um, it is one of those stones that just takes a polish to perfection and it has a mirror-like finish. Like genuinely, when I say mirror-like finish, if you get a big enough piece of this, when it's polished and you look at it, you will see yourself. Wow. Yeah, you will. And if you, you probably can, I'm gonna. I'm trying to see my eye if you're wondering why my face comes into shot. But if you, and I'll pass it to you so you can have a go, but if you get, Yeah, now I can actually see behind, I can see the shells behind me. Wow. Have a look. So I've, just, got, I haven't got my specs on. Have you not? I don't yeah. either, but you can, you can see it does really? have a mirror, a mirror effect to it. Mm. Yes, you can, you can see all the best behind me. Yeah. It is that much of a luster that you get to it. I know I look really ridiculous doing that then, but so it is. So what cuts this then? Is that cushion cut or has that got a Ooh. specific, well, specific cushion, name? Well, cushion is normally the shape rather than the cut. Right. So the cushion oh, refers okay. to the fact that it's taken the edges off. Ah. Um, mm, I would class it as a fancy, I suppose it could be seen it's as a step clever. cut. Step cut, that's what I meant. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They're lovely, aren't they? Although you often, yeah, I'd say it was probably more of a step cut. It's been a while since I've looked at cuts of stones, but normally there's only a very few. There's brilliant cut, there's step cut, um, and then there's a couple more, and then everything else yeah. is classed as fancy. And you can mix and match them normally. Oh, I love spinel. I do as well. It's one of the most amazing stones. Again, because of that mirror light -like finish, because it has a mirror light -like finish, look at the effect mm. that you get. It's like a disco. It is like a disco. That's and lovely. Even if you wore a black dress or a black shirt with this, you would mm, still see it. Mm. Quite often when you have jewellery, if you wear the same colour as what you're wearing, it, you lose it, don't yeah. you? But not with this, because it will always catch the light because of that luster that it has, it's going to just ping. And they have this wonderful twinkle as you're moving. Oh, dancing. Oh, that's lovely. It's a birthstone now, isn't it? Spinel. Spinel, it is, I can't mm. remember. Is it, isn't it August? Yeah. 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 It's one of the most recent ones. I think Tanzanite was the last, and then Spinel's right. the, yeah. The, yeah. the newest edition. Good choice. Mm. Uh, what was the last one? Sorry, darling. Oh. No. Oh. Is this a kit? A bundle. Ooh. This must have been for a stretchy hour or something. Yeah, perfect. Uh, this actually last of stock. It was on once and it was very, That's very not, popular. Um, snowflake, is it? A it looks is like it, really? it, yeah, frosted. I've never seen that before. No, because it's normally highly polished, isn't it? Oh, my Lord. That's amazing. That is gorgeous. I've never seen that before. No. Completely different, isn't it? I think I preferred it, you know. Yeah. 
I'm gonna, you know, I think I prefer yeah. it matte. Don't, no, I don't think I've ever seen it. It works so nicely though, doesn't it? Snowflake Obsidian, oh, I've always amazing. seen as being tumbled or polished. That's beautiful. That's bananas. See, this is what I love about this job, is that you come across things yes. all the time yeah. that you've never, you think, oh no, I know it now. I've seen that stone, and then all of a sudden, boop, another thing comes out and you go, oh really? Wow. And then we've also got this as well. Now this, I'm just looking to see. So they're saying round faceted, but it almost looks like a pumpkin. Not quite. Mm. Almost there, though. A little bit of a mirror ball it's effect on together, this. It's beautiful together, actually, isn't it? Yes. It's quite a... Um, all because the lady loves bundle, isn't it? Mm. Want mm. chocolate now, thanks. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> and we you don't are... see them anymore, do we? On TV? The not on TV, man. no. Mm. Didn't you Probably not like... very PC, is it? No. The world's gone mad. It's very James Bondy, though, isn't mm. it? It is roll neck. Yeah. I quite like a roll neck, I have to say. Yeah, they're good. Mm. They are good. Mm. Mm. They're warm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good price. So you are also yeah, getting um, your stretch cord there as well. So you've got four so, bracelets at least in yeah. this bundle. Well, it's 25 metres mm. of your elasticity. Shall we try that again? Mm. <laughs> 25 metres of your elasticity stretchy elastic. There we are. The um, and it's one mil in size. So yeah, lots. For £17.95, that is brilliant. How much would you charge for a stretchy bracelet? Of which of those stones? For Snowflake, £15. Mm. Mm -hmm. Amethyst, probably £10 because it's more readily available. Okay. That's not bad, is it? So That's four good. bracelets, That's £50. You have so many elastic metres left as well. High-end designers and middle-end designers mm. and designers in general tend to charge a lot more than yes. that for just stretchy yeah, bracelets. Absolutely. I was quite surprised when I started looking at the cost of stretchy bracelets for, for various different people, I'm not going to say, but um, especially for gentlemen as well. Yeah. Massive, didn't just have a difference. Um, mm. Now, this is the stone that started all the hoo-ha off with the uh, Chrysocola. Mm. So huge congratulations if you did manage to get a hold of the Chrysocola because it shouldn't have we'll gone there. Brush that. Yeah, forget that. Forget that. Um, this is coming up in one more auction's time. It is your dendrite agate. I have. I have. I have already. <laughs> we have. I have. It's because I've been around Laura too much. Laura is still a bap. So this is dendrite agate. It's going to go, believe it or not, under £20. I promise that. It's one wow. auction to wait and that's it. So, oh, oh, that's a good point, actually. Pre-order wise, we do have the Botswana agate. It's coming up in about two, 15 minutes time, 15 minutes or so. Um, so this is Botswana agate. It's my must have for the day. And it's gorgeous. Can I ask Ross a quick question? The strand of turquoise that's on the tea bars to our left, do you know when it was launched? The ovals, yeah. The ovals, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Mm. There's lots of clicking going on at yeah. the moment. If it's when I think it was, I might have something interesting to show you when we bring it to air. Mm. May this year. Yes, I can. Yes. Yes, I can show you something when we come to launch it. Oh. Okay, right. My ear has got a bit funny again. You've gone like you're in a fish tank. Oh. Ah, put it with the other. Where's the other one? So we can see the... Um, the difference. Yeah. Oh, I feel like I'm on my own now. You've got me. I know. I can pass the information That would be you. amazing if you yeah. could. Yeah, that would be really, yeah. really good. Oh, I love that. Oh. You can have his and hers. Yeah. No, I do like that. I am thinking that is this beautiful. one is a bracelet. Yes. Oh, yeah. Obviously, that's a necklace, but for some yeah. reason, this particular, the, the muted effect, yeah. I like more as a bracelet. Yeah, it's lovely. So, I'm going to bring you this one right now, which is, again, Snowflake Obsidian. It's nice and to have the graduated strands as yes. well. I love those. I think they're really cool. Yeah, they are fantastic. Yeah. Um, so it's 170 carats of the Snowflake Obsidian, and you're looking at 6 to 14 millimetres, and it is a 38 centimetre strand. Now, I'm going to ask you, could you yeah. just hold this for me a second while yeah. I just twiddle? Yeah, absolutely. I'll twiddle. Hold it up. I'll hold it up. With my, uh, my earpiece for yes. a moment. Yeah. So size-wise, the biggest one is huge. 
14 mil. That's a good size, isn't it? Isn't it? I love the 12 mils. Yeah, yeah the 12 mils. They're really quite cool, nicely. aren't they? Oh, I've gotten back. It's brilliant. I love that. Look at that. Would you just restrand it and make it As into it an egg? Well, I've put yeah. some sort of colour in between just to space it out a little okay. bit. I'm trying to think which colour. It goes really nicely with your top, actually. Mm. <gasps> or I would, oh, that's good, for a whole strand of graduated, I would pearl knot it with Shanghai Red Esalon cord. Oh, Really go quite yes. oriental looking. Yes. I think that'd be lovely. That's a ready-made piece of jewellery, isn't it? Either yeah, straight away. If you bead in between or you just, or you pearl knot it or you macrame with it. Well, I was thinking macrame now you've yeah. mentioned that colour of yeah. Uh, yeah. Your Shanghai Red. That'd be amazing. That's, That's a really good nice strand, time. isn't it? Goes well, on and on and on. It does. It really, really does. Now that six pounds ninety-five, if you were to go into a gemstone store, you'd probably get a strand of nuggets. If yeah. you're lucky, of amethyst Not or nuggets, something so chips, like that. Chips, tiny, yeah. tiny chips. Yeah. Um, here, you've got an entire necklace. You've got big, bold, beautiful. You've got a gorgeous graduation. You've got a lot of attention to detail because all of these will have been mm, tumbled. Yeah. You've got to have the sizes right. You've got to have the graduation. There's a lot more work gone into it. That's my favourite. Just make sure I'm looking at yeah that one there. I think that is beautiful. That speckling. It's isn't more it? speckling than blotchy, isn't it? It's lovely. Like a dappled grey. Yeah. Oh yes, like a dappled horse. Yeah. Hold those lines, my darlings, and congratulations if you managed to get a hold of that. Now the dendrite agate is up. It is star by time. <laughs> I didn't even spot that. So I was expecting, and I just didn't, normally I don't look at the spacer beads at all. It's normally a silver colour yeah, yeah. or yep. a gold colour or a copper colour. Um, no, it's actually the dendrite agate. They've actually gone to the, yeah, the yes. detail of getting dendrite in between. That is really impressive. Really impressive. Just as... That the stone beautiful. itself, yeah. Look at that. It's like Chinese brush painting, isn't it? Mm. Wow. Each individual is just a work of art, isn't it? It's beautiful. Look at that. Every single piece completely different. Now, I've got some bad news. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Bad. Always end with the good. Okay. So, um, I've got the same quantity as the Twisted Obsidian, which sold out. It's 23 chances okay. available. Do you want to know the good news? Go on then. It's going under 20. <sighs> going under 20. For all of these, you're getting two, four, six, eight of the big cylinders, and then you're getting two, four, six, eight, nine. Oh, hold on. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah, nine nine of the uh, spacer beads as well, which are of course exactly the same gemstone. So 200 carats in total, 23 by 11, 16 by 11. This is, you should be closing price. Wow. It should be, shouldn't it? If you think about it, look at the size that you're getting on each and every single one of these. Each of these could make a pendant. Imagine it's a tassel top. In fact... Lots of the viewers out there have, have been absolutely bowled over with designer fleurs, marla necklaces. Yes. And I believe the main bead is called a guru bead. Yes. Is that right? So if you're doing your marla necklaces, this would make an amazing statement. Guru, guru bead. bead. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it really would. Really, really would. But I promised under 20. It's got to go under 20. Guaranteed to go under 20. What I can't guarantee is that everyone who wants one will get one. That's a horrible thing not to be able to guarantee, because I would love to be able to guarantee everyone's happy, but I can't. So fastest fingers first. Are you ready for it? 0800 644 655 is the number to be dialing. All the W's, jewelrymaker.com. <laughs> That's a bit sneaky. It's not even £19.95, is it? It's not even £19.95. Wow. That's brill. 
Couldn't you just like make one necklace and sell it, mm -hmm. or one pendant and sell it yeah. for fourteen pounds ninety-five? Key fobs, having that on, on a key fob yes. with a bunch of keys, I think that look lovely. Yeah, incredible. It's quite strong, isn't it? In the, on the on the old Mo scale, I would have imagined. Um, Agate's really good yeah. actually. It's yeah. great as an everyday look one. Look at that. It's blue in that one. Blue. I love it. Yes. Oh, you do. I mean, yeah, yeah, you, blue, yeah. You're seeing sort of yeah. hints of, especially where there's a little bit of translucency, so the light is getting mm. into the stone to a certain degree, and that creates that that almost. Um, They're amazing. I'm fascinated by this stone. Whether it's the the agate or the opal. They're just yeah, beautiful, they're both fantastic. They? Yeah. Oh, I really love this one. I really love this one. Is those? That one's my favourite. The one. Uh, that one, I think. Ah. Yeah, I really like that one. And some of them, if you stand them up vertically and turn them, you can actually see the scenes and the forests and the trees. Yeah, yeah, you really can. I love it when it gets quite dark like this as well, so it's mm. almost like yeah. it's a snowstorm at night. They're lovely, aren't they? Imagine if that was um, Rutal Quartz. Ooh. I wish we did Rutal in this size. Not the I'd easiest to stone to no. get a hold of, really. No. Oh, it would be fabulous though, wouldn't it? Really, really would. No, well, we're down to the last 11 chances, I'm afraid. There's lots of you there who are wanting it. If you're on the phone line, stay where you are. You will be able to promise you you're not paying for that phone call either. Um, and make sure you're checking out if you're on the website. Suzanne, my darling, well done to you. Vivian, wow, you're loving this. You've got two of them winging its way to you. I don't blame you. Take advantage of that. Well, they're twenty nine ninety five to start. Yes. Oh, so in effect, it's buy one, get one free, isn't it? If you like it like that. Do you, like, do you prefer like half that. price or buy one, get one free? Which sounds more of a bargain if you were shopping on the high street and you saw the signage. I think the half price purely because I don't always want two of something. Okay. So I feel like I'm then being forced to have mm, an additional thing. That you don't want. Yeah, yeah. especially when it's, it's something that will increase my waist size <laughs> dramatically. <laughs> And I kind of think, well, if I bought one, mm. it would have been a bargain and I've really enjoyed it and I won't feel guilty about it. If I have the two, I have to eat them. Right. No, it makes sense. I have to. It's so, yeah, sense, I think yeah. I prefer half price to buy one, get one free. Mm. Okay. Unless it's something like stones and then, do you know what, bring it on. Mm. Yeah. I think it depends on what it is. Mm. You could freeze the stone. Leah is now trying to freeze things to justify the buy one, get one free. Freeze a scone, eat a scone. Depends on what it is. You can't freeze everything, Amelia. You can, I mean, you can freeze cheese and you can freeze milk and you can freeze butter, yes, yeah. Mm. Cooked vegetables. Cooked vegetables, yeah. Yeah. Um, now, after the break, it is actually that time already, believe it or not. Um, this is my must have of the day. There are what well, there were 100 of them available for you. It's a reorder. The first time we bought it to you, a huge quantity sold out very quickly. In the reorder, we've only been able, been able to secure 100. It's coming up after the break. Mm. We've already had it on pre on pre-order. Over 20% wow. of the stock has now gone in the last hour. So it's going to be another popular one. And I think there's going to be quite a few people wanting to order more than one. So fastest fingers first on this one as well. Um, it's coming up right after this. Our brand new Get Started with Jewellery Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewellery making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewellery designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash get started with JM where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewellery making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewellery making journey. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Join us this Wednesday on Jewellery Maker for the Gem Setting Day. We have got the most stunning deal of the day for you, Ethiopian Nuggets. As well as that, we're going to be bringing to you the Deluxe Gem Setting Toolkit so that you can create unique pieces. We also have for you Yellow Sapphire, Aquamarine, Pink Amethyst, 
and a selection of pearls and everything to suit your gem setting needs. As well as that, we've also going to be joined by the incredible Hayley Kruger and the wonderful Fleur Hastings. So join us at Jewelry Maker this Wednesday for Gem Setting Day. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. We are always filming new DVDs with our specialist guest designers, so visit our website for more information. At Jewellery Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Tune into Jewelry Maker every morning at 8am for our breakfast club. We'll be bringing you low, low prices, last chance to buy and end of line stock. Make sure you're watching because once the deals are gone, they're gone. Check out your Wall of Fame entries in this hour and be in with a chance to win £100 credit to your account. The Breakfast Club on Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Botswana agate. What's what's your opinion on Botswana? I love Botswana. It's fab, I've isn't always it? liked it. King of the agates. It's down my line. Sorry, oh sorry. It's alright. <laughs> it's alright. Do you know what? And I can't remember what the queen of the agates is. Oh, I, I don't know that one. It's I think it's oh I should know this. Blue lace. No, oh, yeah, of course it would be, wouldn't mm, it? Yeah. yeah. No, I agree with that. Cannot argue with that yes. at all. Um, but yeah, it's known as the king of the agates. Yeah. We used to have um, a presenter called Fiona. Do you remember Fiona? Oh, I love Fiona! Every, day, every time we had Botswana, she used to shout it, didn't she, from the rooftops. Did she? Oh, <laughs> I love She did use to, yeah. Because that was her favourite. She's fabulous. Yeah. Her husband's brilliant as yes, well. Yeah. A pair of them are gorgeous, gorgeous people. Now, uh, yeah, so Botswana! It was just like that, every time. It's perfect. It was like she was in the room, yeah. Botswana agate, king of the agates, mm, yeah. and gorgeous in every single way. And there is, I mean, you can see why it's classed as the king of the agates because when you look at the different, well, first mm, of all, the patterning mm. that you get in it, really dramatic. The colours, oh, the colours. I just oh. love that banding. There's not another gemstone like it. Is no. it? There's one gemstone that I think that can stand itself against Botswana, and that is, I've completely forgotten it. How ridiculous. They'll come to you in a minute. Yeah. What could it be? What could it it's be? It's another agate. It comes from Mexico. And it's Oh, crazy lace? No, it's something similar to crazy lace. I'll remember it in a minute. Crazy lace is quite close though as well, isn't yeah. it? With the banding. I'll remember it in a it's second. It's bugging me now. Yeah. Oh, what's it called? Isn't it named after the locate the exact We've only, we only had it once on the show. Oh, it'll come back to me in a second. If you can remember, please message in. Yeah. Message in. I think it's the one that's named after the location, because quite a few agates mm. are named after the yes, locations, yeah. but there is one that's quite mm. dramatic, and I can't remember the... 
I can't remember the name. Um, so we had actually had this a little while ago, and when it, we first launched it, it, it went, basically it sold out, and we've waited for a considerable amount of time to get it back in stock. And it's very similar to what we had uh, yesterday, situational-wise, because we had an item yesterday that we had reordered, but we weren't able to get the same quantity as we had right. before. Right. So the maximum we've been able to get hold of for you today is 100 of these that's it you may be thinking well there's loads that's fine I'll, I'll just i'll get on the phone in 10 minutes time in 20 minutes time it'll still be there you see the thing is it's going under 10 pounds it's botswana agate going under 10 pounds there's a lot of people who are going to be wanting more than one strand and there's also a bit of a big announcement on this one as well not only are we going under £10, there pounds, something. there's I always there something, something, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. We're going yeah. under five. One minute on the screen right now. You're going to be paying no more than five pounds for Botswana. That's my oh. favourite, just there. Oh. It's got the white at the top and then mm. the grey and then the red band going through the centre. Oh, I yes. love that. Oh. It's almost got it's a bit beautiful. of a mookite yeah. feel to it, doesn't it? It's stunning. Are you ready? Are you steady? Start dialing because not a single one of you are going to be paying more than five pounds per strand for this. <gasps> oh! And there, Hilda's there, Susan's there, Collector in North Yorkshire's there, Christine's mm. there, Ron is there, Ray is there. El, um, Elvina is there, Michelle is there with two. There's lots of you with two. This is what I said. You're going to yeah. want more than one. Yeah. At five pounds, you're definitely going to want more than one. That's beautiful, isn't it? That red one as well with the white bands. Yes. That's a gorgeous strand. Do you know what? You struggle. Oh. I'm going to go with the food analogy, but you struggle to get a bottle of wine for five pounds these days. A decent one. Well, just anyone, really. I mean, I've... Mm. I've seen the odd one under five pounds, but it's very rarely. Mm. And here you can get a gorgeous, the king of the agates, it's not just a gorgeous strand, the king. the king of the agates. One of the reasons it is the king of the agates is because it's natural. The colors you're getting are natural. Everything you're seeing is natural. In fact, a collector in London has bought themselves three of these. There's lots of you going for twos, threes. If you want more than that, you're more than welcome to. I have got 100 of them. Well, I did have 100 of them available. I don't now, but I did have 100 available. If somebody wanted to hop on that phone line and collect all 100 of them now, obviously, apart from the ones that have already gone, they are welcome to it. Because there are going to be people out there who are looking at this price going, I can buy that and just sell the strand off. As it is, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Without Absolutely. doing anything to it, yeah. without touching it, I can just sell it on and make a bit back. But you know what? You're entitled to do so. It's entirely up to you. We just give you the deals. What you do with this strand after that point, it, well, it's up to you. I I'm not going to You can pearl knot this strand. I could probably go for a nice ivory or a very sort of duck egg blue, something like that would be nice. Pearl mm. knot in between. Because you don't have to use rounds for pearl knotting. No, or pearls that's that very matter. true. Yeah. Very, very true. So, lots of you on the phone lines. You might even be experiencing a bit of a beep, beep, beep. If that happens, if you get an engaged tone, please do. But that's the only time I'm going to say put the phone down and try again. Um, do it as quickly as you can because you will get through at some point. If you are already in that queue, do not put the phone down because as soon as you put the phone down and pick it up, you're going to end up either with beep, 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 or at the back of the queue again. So if that is the case, just keep trying. If you're in the queue, stay where you are. You're not being charged for the phone call. There's still time to get involved in this if, if you're wanting to get, if you just tuned in, in fact, or if you've never bought from us before and you're getting that little bit of a, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's okay, we've all been there. There's always been a first time for everybody. And even the first time I actually rang in, I was kind of a little bit, oh, do I, don't I? Best decision. It's brilliant because you know what? Even if you get the decision wrong, you've got a 30 day money back mm -hmm. guarantee, you can send it back. Peace of mind. No. Peace of the king of the agates. It's like the lion king of the agates, isn't it really? <laughs> That's what I always think of, Lion King of the Agates. And it's, it's such a, a unisex colour variety as and again, well. Every, every week of the year you could wear this. Oh, yeah. It's not one particular season that, that it lends itself to. 
That's really nice beach jewellery, actually. Yeah. Surfing. And yeah. One for the gents as well. Yeah. I'm thinking of mustard yellow yeah. for some reason. Ah, yes. It yeah. would go nice with a mustard yellow or an mm. orange. Yeah. Oh, dare I even attempt it? I am thinking of the shower white from earlier. Yeah, that works. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it actually does. Lovely. Because of the grey, I think grey and purple lo look lovely together. Oh, that is really bugging me now, the name of that gemstone. It is, we've it, we've yeah. had it once, we had it in four different sizes, graduated sizes, and it was, it was, it was like Botswana, but it was, it was a lot redder, and lots of swirls and patinations. I know, I know exactly the one you mean. And, oh. Could you just type in to the search engine, Ross, because it is going to bug the, just is, yeah. the hell out of us. Yeah. Um, I'm sure it was from Mexico. No. No, but yeah, I might just be Mexican Agate. Could you just type in Mexican Agate into the search engine and just see what comes back? Oh. I think it is named the viewers, after the location. If any of the viewers you know, text us in. There's just so many stones. So many gems. Oh, it will come to me. It will it'll come to me as I'm driving home. It normally does. I'm sure there's one named after a mine. No, it's not Crazy Legs. We, we, yeah, we, we question the crazy It's very lace. similar to crazy lace, but mm. it's a lot more red and rich, and it's got coffee tones and reds and really, it's got beautiful <sighs> colour. Uh, and I've, I've got it at home. How ridiculous. I've got all of the strands because it's just so beautiful. I'm thinking we get... That's the one, Laguna, Laguna Lace. Laguna Yes. Oh, there oh, we are. Jennifer, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Jennifer. Thank you, thank Laguna you, thank lace. you. Yes. Laguna Agate. That was gorgeous, yeah, that was, wasn't it? We've had it once yeah. in all these years. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you, you for very that. much. Oh, oh, your I mind is at yes. Yeah. Your mind is at peace. Laguna Lace Agate. Oh, That's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, hello, we've got some things that have been added to the desk. Uh, oh, now this I've is special. requested this. Oh. Why? Um because Ross said, what would you like to do? And I said, well, considering the mineral man's been on this morning, I'd like mm. to drag out any unusual gemstone that we have oh, in the building. Good idea. Um, something we don't see every day. And this was a request of mine, mainly because of the optical qualities of it. This original, oh. I asked for Alexandrite, and he kind of went, yeah, we don't have any of that. No. Um, mm. So this is the next best thing. This is colour change garnet. Wow. You can already just about see the two-tone effects that you're getting in this lighting. Mm. So you've got a green colour here. Do we have... Oh, do we have actually a recording of this with the colour change? Because I need you to see the colour change. It's so amazing. I always talk about gemstone love children on the show, where two gemstones get together yeah. and they have an offspring. And looking at this gemstone, the two parents for me would be Moldavite yes. and Sveen. <gasps> if Moldavite and Sveen had a love child, this would be the, the outcome. Do you agree? Yes. Mm. Yes. Beautiful. It yes. Is absolutely beautiful. I did ask for spalarite as well, but it was very much that's not going to be, <laughs> we're not going to oh. have spalarite. Right. Um, which is a shame, but yes, yeah, spalarite, Sveen, all of those. Yeah, this this is a ma look. You can see it there, yeah. can't you? If this was a diamond, what colour would it be? Green. Green diamond. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I thought that as well. In this light, it would be. Mm. Mm. In a different light, it would be a different oh, story yeah. altogether. It's beautiful. Now I don't know if wow. you can see that, but where, where, where I'm pinching it because I'm just hiding some of the lighting that's in oh, it. Look. Can you see? <laughs> yeah, straight away. Already, oh, yeah. and that's just by hiding some of the light, you can see it's starting to get into a reddy colour, can't you? That's amazing. Yeah. It's, a, it's an incredible gemstone. Coming up very, very soon. Wow. Very limited, unfortunately. The beauty of actually looking at it in studio lighting here is you have so many different tones of light that you will catch elements when you turn it and you'll get that mm. flash of red coming through. Mm. There's not many. There's not many. Well, you, you probably already knew it was not going to be many. Yeah. Um, so that is coming up as a star buy in this hour as well. Now, what shall I bring with you? Oh. Oh. Oh, this is an unusual name, hasn't it? 
I'm and loving it's that. Called... No, I can't remember. I don't know if we can. I always love included amethyst. And it's not one of the stones that you would normally say, oh no, inclusions are a big thing. But actually, if you get included amethyst and it's just right, you get the most amazing yeah. effects. It's like a solar system, isn't it? Yeah. Hidden within. Yeah. And the other thing is, um, if you get something like a fingerprint. Now, what the, the inclusions in a gemstone are named exactly after what they look like. So when I say it looks like a feather, or it's a feather inclusion, it looks like a feather. If it's a cloud inclusion, it looks like a cloud. If it's a oh. water lily inclusion, which are normally found in um, aquamarines, then, then I think peridot, sorry, um, then it looks like that. Horsetail inclusions looks like a horsetail. This is really, it's really the, beautiful. It's that clarity, it's amazing. Yes, yeah. The clarity of it, of it is fantastic. And the fact you get these rippling effects, and if it just catches the light right, you'll get a rainbow come out of it. It's also, you're thinking of trapeze, aren't you? Yes, that's the word. Because yes. I've just spotted. Yeah, yeah. I've caves. spotted. Yeah. yeah. Um, so trapeze is where yes. the colour goes off in different, sort of in, in a triangle, almost in a cross-like mm. effect. Yes. Yeah. Um, and you literally are getting on this particular one a trapeze effect on it. I can't guarantee all. We have but had yeah. trapeze on the show. Yeah. Often trapeze is normally seen in, in emeralds, but you do oh, get it in amethysts right. as well. Right. There, look. There's there a fingerprint. Can you see that fingerprint in there? So you'll get, when you get this home, you'll get an inclusion which looks oh, look at that. like a fingerprint. It's oh. got ripples in it. You know how you've got the little markings inside and it literally looks like a fingerprint. So that would be a fingerprint inclusion. And they are magical. 20 pound. Oh. Wow. I don't know if you'll catch this, but can you see there? The rainbow effect mm. I'm talking oh, yes. about. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see it? There. there. Get it as a collector of stones so you can see, first of all, the colour is fantastic. The effects and the quality that you get with it, with all those inclusions. It's a little bit like um, emerald with a jardin. There's always something really magical and you get clouds mm, in there as well. Yes, can you see yes. those? They're, they're lovely, absolutely lovely. And a little bit of a trapeze effect in some of them as well. No, they're fab. They are fab. Hold those lines, my darlings. Now, I'm going to bring to you. <gasps> these are amazing, aren't they? I've not serrated seen these. Keys. They're lovely. They really are serrated keys, aren't mm. they? Look at that. Oh, I want a car key That's like this now. Extraordinary. Can you imagine whipping your car mm. key out and it flashing in the light? Da, 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 da. There you go. Oh. I bet it's not even... Oh, it's not showing it on the... There, there we are. are. Yeah. It does look a bit like a Christmas tree, you're right. They are fab. So we've got three of them on the strand. Just trying to catch the light right so that you can actually see it on the camera. Oh, come on, you can... There. There it is. There we, <gasps> there, we there it is. <laughs> That's the angle we need to get it at. That's amazing. I love that lime green against the electric blue. Yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? I also love the fact the way it's been shaped, the serrated edges don't catch the light no. at the same time as the, the front facet. Do you know it reminds me of Stonehenge? Don't know why. Don't get me started on Stonehenge. Oh dear, why what? I've been a few times, I quite like it. Have you been to Woodhenge? No. So just down the road from Stonehenge, there is Woodhenge, and it literally is... A wooden version. A wooden version. So I think they're supposed to be created around the same time, and they're supposed to be connected in some way. But if you go to Stonehenge, it's really weird, because the, the feeling that you get in the air is very mm. heavy. Mm. It's very heavy and very... almost electrically charged. Mm. And there's just, like, crows. And you don't hear much else. It's just, it's eerie. You go to Woodhenge and it's bustling with life. You can hear insects, you can hear oh, little yeah. animals running. It's it completely wow. the opposite. And it's so fantastical to see. And if you've gone from one to the other, it's, it's mm. a dramatic. Mm. 
Okay. Mm, it's brilliant. Brilliant. I didn't know it existed. I'm no, like, Woodhenge? What's that? Yeah. So the Stonehenge and Woodhenge. Next. What's the post? Oh, I've got it. I've got it. Oh, I love these. Oh, this is the Swarovski slider. Yeah. Although I thought it's... these had all sold out. I think it was a different colour. I had oh, a lighter nice. coloured one yesterday. Um, it's all tangled. Can I just say it's not it's not me who's done this? Was this the one we had yesterday? It's not, is it? We had the rose gold version. Ah, which is why it would have looked lighter mm. because the rose gold would have been the forefront. That's not beautiful, that colour. Yes. Oh, this is the elegance of this. It's just beautiful. All well, those bars instead of the little balls on the end. They are just magical, aren't they? Really magical. The colour. They've gone. Oh, oh, oh. goodness me. Well done. Oh, I need to show you this as well, which is coming up how long? About 10 minutes? Or the end of the hour? 10 minutes. This is my colour change garnet. <gasps> you can see it. These, the, these are the stones that make me really excited. Anything that has a colour change effect or an optical quality, so like your labradorites, and, and it's just because it's so... Well, it's magic. If you didn't understand, and this is, I always say magic, when people say magic doesn't exist, magic is just what science hasn't explained. Mm. So this is a colour change gemstone, but if you didn't know how that colour change happened because of the, the, freak, yeah. the light, you would look at this and go, that's magic. And it is. Mm. And I think you can still call it magic, you can still say it is, because that kind of effect and that kind of quality, that's magical. I would be wowed by this, even if I didn't know the scientific cause of it. It's just, it's, that's what magic is to me. It's magical. It's something that's just exciting, no matter if you understand it or not. Yeah, that is magical. Love it, love it. So that's coming up. How many did you say we had of those? It's not many, is it? Mm, that's more than I was mm. expecting. It was more than I was expecting. Considering the stone it says, I was expecting about 15. We got 35 of them. Uh, 15? What's the post? 13. 13, sorry, I'm completely not listening to you properly. It is the earpiece again, well it is. It's a combination of the earpiece and getting excited by gemstones and not actually listening to him. Sorry, Ross. He's used to me by now anyway. Now this is a gorgeous stone. It's whopping great big. Whopping great big. Huge size nuggets or tumbles. Going under 10. In fact, should we do it under five? Huge, gorgeous, beautiful, delicate pink color. We're gonna give you a one minute warning on there. It's going under five pounds. I launched this a little while ago and it's the second time to air with me again. Clearly we're best friends. And I want it, I want it to sell out. I really do because it's so, it's so magical to get that delicate, soft, beautiful pink. It's the kind of pink that will go with any skin colour and any type of colour if you want in clothing. I mean, you can go naked mm. with it if you want, this you might get it. This would be perfect for the but... Botswana, I think. <gasps> yes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Perfect, wouldn't it? Yeah. You can actually oh, yes. get both of these yes. for under ten pounds. Didn't you save a fiver on that? Yeah. Just saying. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. So for That's ten pounds, you can together. get two. That's lovely together. It is, isn't it? Because you've got the greys in the Botswana as well, and grey and pink go so nicely together. Love it. Absolutely love it. Also coming up a little bit later say that now but the time's flying away so quickly we've got these gorgeous beauties and wouldn't they mm. go together mm, so nicely oh, can't wait to see this strand i'm really looking forward we've got a to showcase it. haven't we yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and this looking hour forward to that. are you ready one minute is over the information is on the screen right now it is a case of getting on the phone lines as soon as you can that is the should be could be would be price no one's paying that. 
No one is paying that. If I looked at this strand and thought, and someone said it was £19.95, mm. I would have said, yeah, yeah okay. £15.95, yeah, yeah. I would have said, yes, that's an absolute bargain. £9.95, I would have been all over it. We're not stopping at £9.95. No. It's got a slight peach tinge to it, doesn't it? Like it does, yeah. Looking at it on here. Which is why it would go so yes. nicely with the, the barrel strand that we've got coming up later. Mm. In fact, I'm looking at all of the sort of purpley tones and pink tone strands we've had today already. Oh. Can we have a kit like this, please? Wow. <laughs> Wouldn't that be Great amazing? Boutique. Yes. Oh, oh. You ready for your price? <laughs> Four ninety-five. Wow. What can you get for five pounds? What was the last thing you bought for five pounds? Is probably the best thing to question. A couple of liters of petrol. A couple of liters of petrol. Yeah. Amelia, what was the last thing you bought for five pounds? A children's board game. Aww. Yes. Brilliant. But it wasn't the real one. It was a knockoff. Oh. Oh. So, yeah. Oh, I'm intrigued. Definitely. What was it? It was that one where you have to put flaps down with faces on. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Whatever their name is, or what's their name? <laughs> Brilliant. Aww. Hey, just as much fun. Just as much fun. Yeah. That's actually a really good one. Yeah. I can't think of what the last thing I spent five pounds on. Probably parking. Oh, yeah. You bought a pair of socks for your dad. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Five pounds. That's brilliant. Took my daughter bouncing for four. Bouncing. It's on like a trampoline park. Oh, it's four pounds right. each. She loves it. I love it too. It's fab, isn't it? It's great exercise. I really love it. Oh, do yeah. We won't mention that on air. Managed to stop that from happening. So <laughs> it, it happens to the best of us. It happens to the best of us. Zero eight hundred six trouble four six five five is the number to be dialing on this one. Um, Janet's there, well done my darling, Susan is as well, Anne, Venita, I've got Carol there as well, they are stunning, get a couple if you can, £4.95, that is a bargain. Oh, is it that time already? Mm. Oh, gosh. It's that time oh. already, it is time for my colour change garnet, it's coming up right now. <laughs> Just tilting this in the light for a moment. I'm not, I'm not ignoring the fact we're on air. I'm just tilting it in the light and I'm thinking, how can we, do we have a lighter? Do we have, do we have, um, okay, so the torch, they're the, they're the blue light torches, aren't they? Mm. Which is not the kind that we need. We need, we need incandescent, we need, again, it's too blue. It, I mean, it'll show a difference, but it, it's not what I want to show you, the, the real... No, you haven't. OK. OK. Do we have a recording of this? Oh, hello. Well, if I can get it to work. We're going to need to dim the lights as well. Is that possible? I forgot because you use the paracord, the don't paracord, you? So it's, it? yeah. It's okay. a very big flip. Oh, let me have a look. Yeah, so this is where it takes your eyebrows yes. out, isn't it? OK, let's see if we can do this. Before I even... So we're going to dim the lights. Oh, look. Wow. Can you oh, see... That. ..how red that... Ah. Look at that. It's all worth it. It's all worth the pain. <gasps> That's amazing. Okay. Uh, no, it really, it, it seriously is. So that is incandescent lighting, which wow. is more of a, what if I, oh, that might oh, work, yeah. yeah. No, no, I'm fine, I'm fine holding it. I'm just, you know. Just, just get very hot, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. But you can that's see, amazing. can't you? Yeah, so incandescent lighting is like your tungsten lighting. It's got more of an orange, uh, orange feel to it, whereas, Right, so now do we have, 
a camera. A, oh, let me try my torch. Where is it? Let me try the torch on my phone, because again, it will give um, a bit of a different... Oh, I've just pulled the... Here we are. Is that the right kind of light? So can we dim the lights again, if possible? I've pulled my earpiece again. Oh, look at that. Sorry about seen. how battered my phone is. It's well loved. Gosh, it's the Quite. difference. That was amazing. So you do have yeah. a, you have a very dramatic difference, don't you? Really, which is 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 lovely to see. So when you get it in into daylight, daylight has more of a blue tinge to it. So you're going to have the greens. Mm. You're going to have that gorgeous green. When you get it in incandescent light and you're going to have more of the reds coming through, that's when you're going to see more of the reds coming through in this as well. And that's the same effect that you get with an Alexandrite. So an Alexandrite oh, is um, emerald right. by day, ruby by night mm. because of the, oh, yes, the transition. Yes, yes. Now, £54.95, I would absolutely be more than happy to pay that for a colour change gemstone. First of all, in this carat weight of this quality and of, of just the effects that you get. It, it is incredible. And please, please, please do get the authenticity card for it. Um, today, for this collectible gemstone, we are going to a brand new lowest ever price point. So if you want a closeout deal, this is the auction for you. Um, I've got 30, 38. Oh, I thought you said 35. You, yeah, you did. Um, so it's 38, actually, we've got. So I said 35, so apologies. 38, 34, we're down to now. Four have already found a home. Now, you're not paying. Those of you who've already got this, the four of you have already checked those baskets out and guaranteed theirs. You are not going to be paying £54.95, not by any stretch of the imagination. It's never been seen at its next price point, but everyone who gets on the phone lines and guarantees theirs will get it at the lowest Ooh, There wow. we are. Brilliant. I get I'm so excited, so excited. You could pay more for perfume, and perfume mm. doesn't last for as long as this is going to last. It may smell nice, but it doesn't matter. This, this is a Christmas gift for me. The, if if yes, I got this yeah. as a Christmas, I would be over the moon. I'd probably cry. I would probably cry because it's such a magical gemstone. Think about the fact that, do you know what? Get it home. Mm, Don't yeah, even it's... think about the fact that it can change colour. See it for yourself. Get it out in daylight, have a look at what it looks like then. Have a look under the torch. Hopefully your, your case is a lot less destroyed than mine is. It's well loved. Um, and I'm so embarrassed by that now. And then if you get it in incandescent lighting as well, just imagine you wearing a piece of jewelry that you've created out of this gorgeous strand and you go for a romantic meal for two Aww. in candlelight and you see the difference that it's going to make to the gemstone because it is incredible. Love colour change gemstones and there's not enough of them in the world. There just isn't. Even as a straightforward gemstone, it's a beautiful tone of green, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it really is. Even before it releases all its hidden... hidden it's, it's like a little lovely. secret, little wink, it is. isn't it? Yeah. Yes. All you need to do if you want to get involved in this is obviously dial the number, you've got the website, you've got the app. Do get the authenticity card, it's 25 pence. I'm now trying to think what you can get for 25 pence. Not a lot. Not a couple of carrots, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, they're not going to last as long as, as your authenticity card. The fact that it's millions of years old as well. That's what I can't get to grips with. That's the thing with all gemstones, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we're, when we're seeing prices like this, we don't ever consider. We, we look at it and go, that's pretty, sparkle, sparkle, amazing. Mm. Love it. I'm happy with that. We don't think about the fact that the earth has actually had to create yeah. this. Amazing. Isn't it's it? had thousands, if not millions of years in the making. That's like baking bread for billions of years. Because you think about, I'm, I'm likening it onto bread because temperature. Yeah. You've got the pressure. If you think about it, you have to mm. knead it. The mm. earth has had to do something mm -hmm. very similar in, in, yes. in creating yeah. this th a remarkable piece. They're just, they're magical. Gemstones are magical. I'm going back to that term because I think, okay, so science can explain anything and everything, but it doesn't explain the beauty mm. you can't, you, th there is no, I don't think there's a science for beauty. If that was the case, all of us would never have a wrinkle ever. 
at any point. We wouldn't age. Science can only go so far, but the beauty of gemstones is, is the emotions it evokes in us. Mm. Mm. And there'll be some that you go, oh, no, it's not for me. And there's other, others, like you were saying, where you've bought an entire strand based yeah, on one, one stone. stone. Just, oh, they're incredible. So if you manage to get a hold of this, huge congratulations. You've got yourself a gorgeous little treat oh, there. Collectors, isn't it? Yeah. That'll go in my collecting box. Yeah. Oh. They are gorgeous. Oh, I love it. I love it. Um, now, the, are we going for, say that again, sorry, this one. Wow. Oh, I like this. Gosh, the sparkle. That's amazing. Oh, I also didn't point out the fact that it is January's birthstone as well. Mm. So if you don't, you don't like your, your garnets you see in the, in the jewellers, colour change garnet, fabulous. Or even this purple garnet. It's your birthday very soon, is it? 23rd of December. Oh, yes. It's very close. Very, very close. Two weeks today is Christmas Eve. Oh. I'm going to start wearing Christmas jumpers next week. Ooh. Mm. I've got eight Christmas jumpers. Have Can you, you believe it? You can only wear one at a time. No, that's very true. Mm. I've, I've already worn one. Have you? Yeah, I've already worn one with Laura on Sunday morning. Ah. Oh, you um, did a morning show. Yeah. That was nice to see you on the screen. It was yes. amazing. Yes. It was amazing. Amber. Yes. It was unbelievable. Mm. Oh, that's good. How would you feel? 44.95 is what is on your screen right now. And actually, think about it. This is a purple garnet. We went over purple garnet yesterday and about the fact that it's really unusual. When you see purple garnet, it's one of those that you just, just get mm. it because it's so beautiful in its own right. It's nice to see the richness. It's nice to see the, the saturation. And also, it's nice to see the microfaceting on this one. How about we take it under 20? At least I hope that's what the price was I was just going to say, yeah. I can't remember him hearing him mention <laughs> that. I thought, oh no, it's Chrysocola Gate again. <laughs> it's because my <laughs> earpiece keeps just cutting out at the, the, the pinnacle moments where he's saying what the price is for what item. We're going to take it to this, we're going to take it to that. Sometimes he doesn't say where he's going to take it at all. And then other times I'm kind of just kind of jigsaw piecing. It's gone oh, again. Yeah. You don't have a crib sheet, do you? No. No. I don't work from a crib Gosh. sheet. That's a lot of trust in your producer. I oh, know. And no. your earpiece. Yeah, well, I think mm, the earpiece needs yeah. fixing. Um, yeah, it's a lot. It is a lot That's of trust. Amazing. But also, I like not knowing as well. <laughs> I do like not knowing. It's genuine, isn't it? Your surprise is genuine. It's yeah, lovely. The it's thing... much of a surprise to you as to the viewers. Yeah. It's lovely. With the turquoise again, with this garnet. Oh, really you nice... love your turquoise, and I'm right garnet. there with yeah, you. That's lovely. I like those two together. Isn't that? Yeah. Okay. Just how, how would you incorporate these into a piece then? Just, because just you... alternate, just oh. really keep it really simple. Maybe do a group of three in between all yeah. of the turquoise, just to space it out maybe. Yeah, because you've got the softness of the sheen mm. of the turquoise yeah. and then you've got that, the incredible sparkle yeah. that you get with just the... Just keep it really simple. Yeah. Oh, Mark, you have a fantastic brain. I like I the keep guest it simple. No. Because you just, you, it's the same with the, all the guest designers. Everyone has their own mm, little, little uh, everybody's design yeah. is, is different. Mm. So you would do something completely different than what I would. I, I just, I get mm. stuck in a block quite easily. And that's one of the things that I like about he, be here and being here is that everybody has a different yeah, way of viewing nice. it. Yeah. And, and I think I view things in a really weird way sometimes because even when I was with Laura the other day, she, she did a, um, a math, she added something up and I couldn't understand what she was saying to me, so I sort of did it backwards and she went, yeah, that's what I said, but in the other order. Oh, okay. So if you talk to me in, in figures, I'm kind of, unless I see it in my way, I can't, mm. I can't mm. get it. So let's have a look at the turquoise, shall we? Oh. This is coming up at nine o'clock, which is not that far away, actually. Have you got your little thing? I have. Yeah! So when we first looked at this, Mark asked when the launch date of this particular turquoise was um, and it was the date yeah. he was thinking of because he's got something he can show. I don't know if you can really see this. Cute. Yeah, this is cute. You can just about make out it's a cat. Yeah, this, is, this, is, this is Ripley playing with that strand. Bless him. How is, he looks really young. He was, he, he was only about oh. six months old. He's yeah. adorable. Cute little thing. Yeah, yes. 
Yeah. Yeah, so, so, well, so I took the strand home to make jewellery for the show and um, thought I'd let, let Ripley play with it, as you do. Cats and tassels. Oh, yeah, they're mm. lovely. The sound that you've just had there <laughs> was Amelia blowing, blowing a raspberry, raspberry mm. on the picture of Ripley. <coughs> <laughs> on his belly. Oh dear. So we did say we're going to have a little bit of a mini showcase of your barrels. It's been a long time since I bought a mini showcase of barrels or a mm. showcase at all of any gemstone. But barrel, one of the most famous families of gemstones. Inside that family, you have got emerald, you've got Bix Bite, which is the red, the classic is the red emerald. It's the, one of the rarest. It's, oh, I love it, it's amazing, it's so expensive. Thousands of pounds for a tiny piece of Bix Bite. Um, so you've got Bix Bite, you've got Morganite, which is the pink variety. You've got Heliodor, which is the yellow variety. You've got Aquamarine, which is the blue variety. And of course, we've already mentioned emerald, it's the green variety. And the bit that I love about the strands that we bring to you is we, we bring you a perfectly tone matched mm, strand. That's true. I'm not going to say colour match because that one's blue and that one's pink and that one's green. So it's not colour match, but it's tone matched. Every single one of these has got the exact tone to go mm. perfectly with each other. Yeah. See, if, I, if this was my strand, I wouldn't colour grade. I would just leave it as it is on the yeah. strand without, yeah. without a shadow of a doubt. They just work so well. It's romantic, I think, the barrel. Yeah. It's a real soft, subtle, romantic stone. It's kind of like, um, I know we say rose quartz is the true love stone, mm. but this to yes. me is kind of, yes. even the blues yes. and the greens, it's the same mm. kind of... Again, it's a feeling you get, isn't it? It's the, oh, mm. when you look at it, you kind of go, oh, it's like, like jadeite. There's just something yeah. about jadeite that's really tranquil and calm. And this kind of has the same, mm. the same kind of feel. Nice spring tones, isn't it? Spring -like mm, perfect. It. New life mm. as well. Yeah. Baby yeah. boys, baby girls. Or if you don't know, then you've got the green. Or you have the yellow. Not everyone wants to know the, the sex of the child, do they? Sometimes they want a surprise. I've got a friend who had a baby boy to start with and she's very close to giving birth to a second and they have chose not to find, not to out. find out. Yeah. I think that's really exciting. Mm. I'd have to know to get everything organised, I yeah. think. Yeah. I needed to know because I, I already knew what it was going to be and I was like no I'm not it, it to me it's it feels like it's going to be a girl mm, mm. and everyone's going no it's a boy it's a boy it's a boy so I kind of went I need to prove you wrong <laughs> I need to prove you wrong so you did. yeah I did mm. yeah I did because I had one name in place and that was it there was no boys names so it had to be there we are so it is already believe it or not star by time <laughs> I've just spotted this one. Have you seen the colour? Oh, look at this. Oh. That's dual colour there, isn't it? Because mm. that's like a, yeah. a milky white and then you've got your pink. I love that. Um, so this is actually the biggest carat weight of the barrels that we have at, ooh. And that is why barrels are fantastic because they distract you every <laughs> single time. That's amazing. Doesn't that look almost like Larimar? Does, yeah, perfect colour. Just, there yeah. is something so dramatic and beautiful about barrels in every single way. Oh, look, yeah, no, you're right. You've got the different hues mm. on this one. Mm. So when we're talking about morganites, morganites, that, depending on the location they come from, they can either be more of a baby pink or almost a salmon pink. So there you've got the peachy tones, and here, definitely mm. the baby tones, almost a kunzite yes. element yes. to it, isn't there? And that's the beauty of having a strand like this. Not only is it the biggest carat weight that we have in um, the barrels at the moment, it has the most amazing impact, doesn't it? Oh, that's stunning, isn't mm. it? So beautiful. 
Oh. What would really? you do? Well, hello. Wow. That's the first. Ooh. Now, when we launched this, this was probably, you know, when we first started doing mixed barrel strands, we're probably looking at 50, 60 pounds. I would have expected about 60 pounds, yeah. So that, for a start price, is extraordinary. Yeah, I would have expected 60. Wow. I don't know what to say to that now, actually. No, I really don't know what to say to that. That's, yes, that's... Um, I'm sure I paid around... Us in our track. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure. I've got a small, I've got one of these strands, but it's smaller. A lot smaller, it's probably about half the size, and I'm sure I paid about 30 mm, for it. Yeah. I'm sure, it was right. That's 20, a brilliant 20, price. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. For that. I don't know, I don't know. We're actually going oh. to strip this back. We gave oh, you a Black this Friday wasn't Black deal. Black Friday, was it? Yeah, yeah, this was actually Black Friday. Oh. We're going to give it a second chance. We're going to give you every single penny out of it and give you the exact price that they had on Black Friday. So if you missed the Black Friday amazing deals, then this is your chance, second time round, to get a hold of it. Um, it's the biggest carat weight that we have, so if you want big, bold and beautiful, if you want to have a design, something inspired, well, Sarah Bennett inspired mm. design because yeah. her collection was absolutely yeah. phenomenal. I loved every single one of the pieces that she had in there. Um, get your hands on this because the bigger, the better, the bolder, the better. The more colour, the better. And you're getting so no. many different colours on there. Oh, my word. <laughs> That's amazing. I didn't, I didn't ever see the Black Friday price and he didn't mention I've it, did he? I've that a lot this evening. But it's just been an incredible show so far. I made so much more for the strand that I've got. That's. I am. Oh my life! Two, four, six, eight, ten. My eyes are stinging. Twelve, four. Because I want to cry. Uh, I've lost count now. That's it. Well, I've lost it. It's gone. Sixteen. <laughs> I've, I've moved. Two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 23, 23, oh. That's less than a pound, that's less than 90, less than 80 p. Oh. Yeah. 80 pence, something like that, is it? 74 pence. Okay, I'm letting it go, I'm letting it go. Letting it go. This this actually is a really good example of why the gemstone world is so amazing and why if you see a deal, take it while you can. Because the, the fluctuation of, of pricing of gemstones is, it, there's so many different factors that impact the price of a gemstone. And a lot of people when I was dealing with um, collector stones, we were saying, well, why is that that carat weight and mm. that one's a bigger carat weight, but it costs less than that one? Because carat weight doesn't always count. It's one of the factors. Yes, location could be a factor. How much is coming out of the ground could be a factor. How how big a quantity you can buy, what deal you've managed to strike yeah. with a miner, did it come direct from the miner or did it go through several people before it came to you? There are so many different factors and clearly we have got one of the most amazing deals on this because to get it at £17.10 has already made my eyes sting. Already made my eyes sting. Oh, I paid more for my size, it's twice tiny! <laughs> You'll have to repeat that because all I got was, you're looking at, mm, 0.7 carats, 24.7. Oh dear. 24.7 carats of stone. How could we Black Friday mix barrel? That's the first question. Yes, yeah, that's a massive question actually. Mm. Who, who did this? Who did this? Oh, oh. Tom. Mm. Oh. Doesn't surprise me. We've got a new customer there, look, and this is their first purchase. Oh my goodness, can I just wow. say, that's amazing. welcome. Mm. First of all, welcome, and it's not the only strand you're getting today, by the way, so if you've, uh, if you've only just started watching and you might not know what our welcome gift is, so if you're brand new to us and you've never shot from us before at all, um, our gift to you is two strands of gemstones mm. for free plus a DVD. Now I cannot tell you what those two strands of gemstones are. The best bit about it is it's kind of, it's like a pick and, well not pick and mix, what's it called? I would keep it as a Lucky surprise day. and open it Christmas morning. See? As a present to yourself. Yes. Mm, I think that's what I would do. Now we have had, some people have messaged in previously to say what they've received mm. and we've had uh, an opal, an yeah. Ethiopian opal, haven't we? We've had tanzanite. Yeah. Yeah. Someone has a diamond as yeah. well. Yeah. 
So if you're thinking, oh, it'll just be, it'll just be a quartz or it'll be an agate or it'll be, no, not necessarily. It, it could be something like a tanzanite. It could be something like a diamond. So that's our little gift to you to say thank you very much for joining us. And for, first of all, for me, I'm going to thank you from myself for enjoying gemstones and actually getting on board with something that not many people mm. think are in their price group. So for me, how many times have you walked past a jeweler's and never stepped foot in the jeweler's because you don't think you can afford what's in there or you get uncomfortable because it's the, I, I, the, the amount of times that I went into a jeweler once and I bought something and it was one of those jewelers where I've, that's why I keep making jokes about it. I had to press a doorbell uh, to go yeah. in and I paid for like the tiniest thing in there. So it, it didn't cost that much, but it was still about 40 pounds for this little tiny figurine. Um, but I felt so uncomfortable and I had mm. to sit at a table across from the person. I had to f put paperwork in and I'm there going, it's just, it's just a little figure. It's a little figurine. And the security guard's there and I'm there going. No, it's not a nice way to show it. It's just, oh, oh, well, oh. Um, but yeah, but. It is affordable. When we bring you these, these amazing things, it is affordable, which is brilliant. You can make your own designs. Um, ooh, going back to Beryl. Beryl? No, it's Basil. Basil? <laughs> yes, dear. Happy dear. Yes, dear. I remember happy. <laughs> oh, I love it. So, these are really lovely. Going back to what you were saying earlier on about the carrier beads. Carrier bead bands. Yeah. yeah you can put carrier beads. But I don't think you'd want to cover mixed barrel, would you? No, that's think. a good point. That's a very good point. Mm. They're a lovely shape, aren't they? They really are. You could are. bead bezel around the outside. You could see bead bezel. Ooh. They're lovely, aren't they? Now, Ross is asking how many are on the strand, which means one thing. He's going <laughs> to give us a per gemstone price on these, isn't he? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. 24. 24, yes, 24. Oh, oh. A sharp intake of breath there. Oh, that's like when you take your car into a garage, isn't it? And they do that. Yeah. The difference here is normally that means it's going to go really low, not, oh, it's yeah. going to break my bank. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so he's going to do another to the pence price. So let's imagine it's a Friday, and it's not just any Friday, it's Black Friday. We're going to give you another one of those price points. Um, now we said, was it 24? It was, wasn't yes. it? Yeah, 24. Oh. Lowest ever price. <laughs> I was expecting wow. 1995. And even then, I think that's far too low for what you're getting. I was expecting 19 pounds. You've got it for 11 pounds 76. That's unheard of for Beryl. That's, that's crazy. OK, so, Mark, just out of curiosity, I give you one of these on this strand, yep. and I say, do whatever you want, ring, pendant, whatever you want to do I'll with do it. I'll do a wish bracelet, and yeah. I would charge £15. Done. The rest of the stones are yours to keep. Mm, yeah. Now, if you bought this at this price, and the star buy, you are actually paying less than what you should have been paying for oh. the star buy, because that was supposed to be 32.95, wasn't it? If you buy them both now, that is, what is it? 28 pounds and 86 pence. So you get both of these together for less than the original price of your star buy mm. barrel. It must be quite a revered family because two of them are birthstones straight away. It's, it's, a highly, yeah. it's one of the most highly yes. revered families because yeah. I mean, think Morganite is a, Mm. A stone you don't see in your average high street jewellers, no, is it? No, no, that's true. Aquamarine, yes, you do see it, but how often do you see mm. it? And when do you see it in, in big carat weights? Very rarely. When do you get to see it with the clarity or depth mm. of colour? Very that's rarely. Um, and then Bix Bite. Now, that's something that most people might not know, and that's because it's so rare. Three new purchases. Oh, welcome. Wow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is, it's so nice to see you here, it really is. And to just start your journey with gemstones. That's incredible, isn't it? I just, I still can't. 
I still can't no, get over the price. No. I mean, you're looking at per stone here, 11.25 carats. Can I ask you a technical question? Oh. You might or might not be able to answer. I might have forgotten it. Ice cubes. Okay, you put an ice cube into a gin and tonic, it melts, it waters down the drink and it mm -hmm. goes a bit watery. Can you put certain gemstone, like for example that strand of beryl, mm. in the freezer and then drop a couple in your drink? A, would it harm the drink? Would it alter the taste or the flavour? And would it harm the gemstone putting it in the freezer? So have, to have gemstone tumbles as ice cubes, because it would chill the drink. Uh, well, I, 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 I've never tried it, so I don't know. What right. I can say is there are already in existence um, stones mm. which you can put in the freezer and put them into... Natural uh, stones? Uh, yes, yeah, natural okay. stones. Right. You, you pop them in um, whiskey normally. Whiskey stones. So when they're saying on the rocks, yeah. I know that normally it refers to the two ice, isn't it? Yeah. But actually, they do have on the rocks rocks. Right. You could put this into the freezer. I don't know what it would do. I don't know if the temperatures are low mm. enough to start cracking it. Normally, freezing something would actually, especially if you've got oh, okay. water in little yes. crevices, that yeah. could then expand and cause damage. Um, depending on the type of stone and what minerals are in it, it could potentially alter the change, the, the right. taste of the drink. And harmful, would it be, do you it, think? Right, or? if you have a stone that's got arsenic in it, I would certainly not be putting no, it in your drink. No. okay. I would really not, re because you can actually have stone elixirs. Mm. So if you go for sort of the, the metaphysical side and want to go down that route, oh, yes, there are yes. stone elixirs, and you always need to, if you are producing them, you need to know what the composition of the stone is and whether yeah. it's harmful. So something like an amethyst wouldn't be. But if you got something which, I'm trying to think of one off the top of my head, which has, there's, some, there's quite a few that have arsenic in. Right. And I really wouldn't, because no. you might. Well, something like your agates and your quartzes, I would assume. Also depends mm. on what treatment. Mm. Oh yes. Obviously. Because if it's oh, dyed, yes. you want to know yeah. what the dye, and you'd never yeah, yeah, yeah. normally yeah. know that. So I would, if you're gonna do mm. it, do it with a natural, untreated stone and make sure you know what's in the stone. Yeah. Okay. There are cool. books that you can find so you can create those yeah. kind of things. But yeah. uh, in answer to your question, off the top of my head, I wouldn't know exactly right. unless I did a bit of research. Right. So that's kind of a, mm. a roundabout way no, of no, saying no, I don't really good. know. No, that's fine. That's cool. Yeah. So there's, yeah. I've always wondered. This is really unusual, this strand. Do you know what I'm going to say? Mm. Based on the price of the stones that we have, if you don't mind damaging one or two of mm, them... That's what I was thinking. Give it a go. Yeah. Just make sure it's not something that yeah. could harm you. Yeah. Mm. I say I should do a book on it now, shouldn't I? Because because I've got tropical fish at home, and um, we sometimes have viewers text into the studio asking if they can use gemstone chips as the gravel in the bottom of their fish mm. tanks. And they always say that if you, if you take the stone and you drop a bit of vinegar on and it fizzes, oh, then you bad. can't put that yeah, in yeah, yeah. To the, into the aquarium. But there are also, also certain stones which are water soluble, so you really don't want to put no, those in. No. So something like a gypsum, mm, no. 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 So um, selenite, no. Mm, no. No. Fascinating. Um, yeah, this, this is why I love science and yes. I love the sort of the yeah. myths as well. So this. I love this strand. This is one of my favorite strands of the year. It's just lovely. It's gorgeous, actually. Yes. Really, really gorgeous. Yeah, that fluorite is just glowing, isn't it? Look at that. But when do we normally see a combination? Because fluorite's normally kept as fluorite on a strand, yes. and that's it. So yeah. to combine it with amethyst and lemon quartz mm. and rose quartz, it actually oh, it creates lovely. almost. Um, it almost looks like it's a coated collection of stones, and it's not. Mm. Or clear beryl, couldn't it? Yes, in yes. In effect, clear beryl. Yeah, in fact, it goes so nicely with the beryl. Yeah. Oh, I love this. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Mm, really nice. That's a really happy... Because so this beryl, for me, is calming mm. and quite peaceful. And then this mm. is kind of a happy, vibrant, upbeat. Yes, yes. And the combination of the two is fabulous. Really, really fabulous. Oh no, I like these a lot. I like the way it glows. I love lemon yeah. quartz as well. We don't have enough lemon oh, quartz, no, we don't. do we? We really don't. So lemon quartz has got a real... It is it is light. Mm. I can't think of what it's called. It comes in a jar. It's not jam. Lemon curd. Oh yes, yeah. Everyone's now going, oh, I love that stuff. Oh, I love lemon curd. It's brilliant. Um, but yeah, it's got a lemon curd kind of feel yes. to it. The kind of look that you're getting. And already Denise is there, Jan's there, Hilda's there. It's a magical tone, magical combination of colours, and what a great piece for a 
flower girl or a gift for the mother of the bride or even if you're going for sort of a spring wedding those kind of colors are mm, perfect for yeah. us aren't they really uplifting really the whole vibrant. strand is just glowing mm. isn't it from in from inside yeah that's lovely oh gosh you've no. some lovely strands this evening we and as have. we said at the beginning of this of the show not a seed bead in sight exactly it's been lovely it's been refreshing just like these oh, colors are yeah I like what you did there. Yeah. Yeah. They're kind of citrusy, aren't they? Yeah. Did you wow. know an, or an orange? Yep. Okay, so random factoids. Okay, so yep. an orange isn't, I don't know how to describe it, because I can't say it's not, it's not an original fruit. So a, an orange is a hybrid of two other fruits. So it's, I think it's a pimento. It's something along the lines of that, and no, it's not the pepper. It's more the um, the grapefruit. Okay. And a clementine. Oh, so I've clementines a, are clementines. I've got but... a fruit and veg fact. Go on then. You get a red pepper or a green pepper or yellow pepper. Yeah. And you know it's got the nobbles on the end. Yeah. If it's got three, it's a lady pepper. If it's got four, it's a man pepper. Oh no, that means I don't want to cut them up yeah. now because I go. Yeah. Oh, so oh, three oh. is a lady, four is a man, in the pepper world. Mm. That's really interesting yeah, to know. That's cute. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Mm. Uh, now, believe it or not, we are already at that time of the day, <laughs> which means my next star buy is going to be after this little break. Oh. Um, and it is going to be the turquoise. The that's turquoise. Beautiful. You have to buy this if you bought the rounds earlier. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's lovely. Not a big quantity, I'm afraid but it's going to be a really good price. So don't go anywhere, sit back, relax, get yourself a brew or a hot chocolate at this time. Mm, yeah. Yeah, we'll see you right after this. Join us this Wednesday on Jewelry Maker for the gem setting day. We have got the most stunning deal of the day for you, Ethiopian nuggets. As well as that, we're gonna be bringing to you the deluxe gem setting toolkit so that you can create unique pieces. We also have for you yellow sapphire, aquamarine, pink amethyst, and a selection of pearls and everything to suit your gem setting needs. As well as that, we've also going to be joined by the incredible Hayley Kruger and the wonderful Fleur Hastings. So join us at Jewelry Maker this Wednesday for Gem Setting Day. If you'd like more information on up and coming shows, you can view the programme guide on our website. of genuine gemstones is always exciting but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers you can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share.
So we are going to bring you in this hour the kit because it is that it's time. It's very colourful, isn't it? It's amazing. It's very colourful. Yeah, it's a really beautiful kit. Got the orange in there. So I love that colour. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to show you something, but I think oh. it might be over there. I'll show you later when we do the kit. It's quite interesting. Oh, I like interesting. I do. Um, so we have got how many? How many do we have in total? Come on. How many do you think we've got? Because today's not been the biggest quantities, has it? Mm. On average, for our star buys, we've been having in the 30s, haven't we? So if I said to you we've got 36 of these, would you be surprised? Well, we've got 36 of them. So surprise or no surprise, we've got 36 of them and that is it. And actually, if you look at the, the, the richness of the blue, you can understand, can't you? That is the ultimate. When you think of turquoise, you think of a certain colour, don't you? You think of a, a really rich, really deep, really sumptuous blue. And I think every single one of these has got those colours and those tones. And I love the fact on this strand, we've not been shy and we've incorporated the slightly more green ones. It's a copper bearing stone. The copper really does give it its colour. So if you have more copper, you're going to have more of the greener blues than if you have oh, less okay. of the copper, you get more of the blue mm -hmm. blues. Mm. And that's why if you've ever bought um, turquoise from different locations, you find the colour is slightly different or it can be quite dramatically different. But this is gorgeous because even though we've got those different tones coming through, it still all works together, doesn't it? If you were to just restrand this as it is, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous necklace. Now, Mark, you've got this strand. Have you done anything with it or is it one of your keepsake strands? No, I, I was giving it as a challenge for the show, actually, and, uh, and I made a suite of jewellery, which we gave away as a, as a competition prize on That's the show. Brilliant. Um, and I just, I think I used Murano, I think if I remember rightly, I used Murano glass with it. That, the gold, yes. the gold Murano glass, which was just, it was just beautiful. Absolutely lovely. And it was just a simple bracelet, earrings and, and a necklace set. Kept it really simple. But I, I bet love, it looks so dramatic, I love simple didn't it? jewellery. I love simple jewellery. I, I think simple jewellery is perfect because if you look at high-end designers, they yes, make things simple they to showcase the yeah, quality of the absolutely. materials they're using. Yeah, absolutely. And actually, when you have a stone like this, or with the Murano glass, the quality of the product, the quality of the stone, is so good, it would be a shame to have a lot of faff going around yep, it. Yeah, absolutely. So sometimes you get stones that just need to be showcased in the simplest form to really show its true beauty. And I think, I think this is one of those stones that, yeah, absolutely. Now, the one that we had earlier on, the rounds, completely sold out. Completely sold out. We've got 38 of these. No, 38 or 36, did I say? 36, mm. sorry. I don't know where I've got 38. Make it 34, I've got 34 now. We started off with 36 of these. Not very many. Now, when you think about how many people are gonna want to get their hands on turquoise like this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 32 chances. And that is before we've even bought the price on the screen. So if you're looking on the website right now, you're probably going to see a price point. And if you're getting it now, I can promise you the price point you're seeing on the website is not the price you're going to be paying. In fact, if you're not on the website and you're watching on the TV right now, this is the price that they're seeing on the website. Wow. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It is. Yeah. It, it, it so, so is. 99.95. Turquoise is one of those stones that you don't generally see massive quantities of. So to have a strand of it like this, which is 45 carats in total, amazing. The fact it's graduated, so if you wanted to, you could just restrand this. That takes all the effort mm. out of it, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. And if you are brand new to jewellery making, you're thinking, I really want to make something with that strand, but I don't know how. Simply restrand it, restrand it, restrand it. It's, it's, it's so simple, so easy. Beautiful. Um, we have a stock warning. So, 10 of them have already gone. 
there's only 36 in total. Okay, and that's at this price. Nobody is paying that price, remember, nobody's paying that price. It doesn't matter if you come in now, it doesn't matter if you come in after the lowest price has come on the screen, everybody pays the final low price. So, why is it good to come in now at 99.95? You guarantee it. Mm. If you've got on the phone line or on the website and you've popped it in your basket, you've checked it out, like Kerry has and Collector in London has, um, all you need to do is sit back and relax now because you know at £99.95 you've guaranteed it, but you also know you're not paying that price. And I think for most people looking at this, you already know £99.95 is a fantastic price point for the strand that you're seeing on the screen. Are you ready? Nobody is paying £99.95, not today, not at all. I keep holding my breath. You holding your breath. Mm. 6995 wow. is your price. Everyone is guaranteed theirs at 9995. You are not paying it. It's 6995. So you guaranteed your place. There was only 36 of them in total anyway. Oh my goodness me. Pair of earrings, what would we be charging for a pair? Simple pair of earrings in silver. Um, <laughs> my price or retail price? Let's do my price. I would sell a pair of turquoise earrings, sterling silver or gold. I would sell for, oh, you're going to be so cross at this, I would sell for £45. Is that it? Mm. Mm. I was only using two stones of the smaller stones. I think that's, well, yeah. my ethos is if I get a bargain then no, I, like, I do like your ethos, but I'm, yeah, I'm kind of thinking yeah, of... Yeah. I know, I know, I know. The retail, when you see turquoise mm. in jewellers, yeah. that's the kind of price you're looking at. Deedy, weedy, ee, beedy, 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 beedy. You it's blink so and you beautiful. miss it. It's so beautiful. I mean, There's even, no mistaking it, is it? No. At all. Even at the smallest, if we go to the smallest piece here right now, it's six by five. Perfectly colour matched for earrings, the first two. Yeah, they really are. Perfect. <laughs> Gentlemen, they are, yeah. Which is fab. Yeah. So it, even if you go for the smallest two, you've still got all of those. Yeah. yeah. You've still got all of those. And actually, I would turn as many of these into rings as possible. I would be setting it with sterling silver because I think a stone like this actually, it kind of it requires it. Mm. It does. I, would, I wouldn't be putting it with base metals. I would be putting it with sterling silver. Oh, absolutely. Make sure you're checking out. I've, I've got um, Rhonda. How do you say that? Synontaf? Oh, it's a place in Wales. It is a place mm. in Wales, yeah. Mm. Rhonda Synontaf. Oh. Isn't, isn't Rhonda the clotted cream as well? Mm. I love that clotted mm. cream. Food again. It's always food. It's always food. Always you should know food. this with me. If I didn't present gemstones, I'd present food. <laughs> I'd be so happy with that. It'd be amazing. Uh, Margaret, huge congratulations to you, my darling. You are going to get it. You are going to get yours. What are you going to do with it? Necklace, pendant, earrings, rings. Just keep it as it is for the sake of keeping Probably it. Probably one for the collection, I think, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'd be more than happy to just keep mm. it. At 69.95 as well, that is a fantastic, fantastic price. Now, if it is slightly out of your budget, maybe go half to the friend. Because look at how big this That's is. Nice there will be a substantial amount for yeah. you still. No, they are fab. Really, really fab. I particularly like this. The paler tone. Yeah. Mm. With the speckled effects. It's almost like a duck egg. It's really unusual, isn't it? Yeah. I've never had a duck egg. I don't think I have either. No, no. I'm not a big egg fan, though. Mm. Not, I'm really not a big, no. No. I mean, I'll eat an egg. I quite like scrambled egg. Mm. But, yeah. Mm. Leaving no. those there with you, my lovelies. Good luck and check those baskets out. There's still one, two, three, four. There's still about seven of you with it in your baskets without having to check it out. I'm just going to have to grab some water for one second. Mm. Hold on, did I hear that right? Did she say she's had an ostrich egg? Mm. 
Oh my gosh. So we've got it on a mantelpiece. It's on our mantelpiece. Okay, so they went on holiday. Where did you go? To Rhodes. And apparently an um, ostrich egg was on the menu in the restaurant. And she was going to have ostrich egg. Um, but Needed a there wasn't enough people. Ten people. You need 10 people to eat it. Oh, it was an ostrich farm. Mm. They had 500, wow. Oh, I had something really cute today. Yeah? Because I'm, I'm a massive Master, master Chef fan. I love hey, watching Master Chef. It was brilliant. And did you know that um, a single ravioli is a raviolo? Oh, I would have thought it would be a ravioli. No, it's raviolo. Raviolo. Yeah. Ravioli, plural, raviolo, single. Raviolo. I thought that was so cute. That really is, isn't it? Yeah. And they do make them quite big as a starter, mm. don't they? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Raviolo. Oh, yeah. Um, also, if you want to send your random facts in, <laughs> that is what we've been... This is why they keep coming out. We've yeah. got loads of Things them. Things trigger my memory, and I yeah. think... Yeah. Oh, Amelia's Go got one. Amelia's got one. The kilt did not originate in Scotland. Oh, did it not? It originated in France. Oh. oh. Did you also know the kilt was, a, I can't remember the exact meterage, but the, the meter, it, it basically, it wraps around over and over and over again because it was supposed to be for the, the man and the woman and the kids to keep them warm, so like a bed. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Mm. Yeah, Amelia's a bit disturbed by that, mm. that fact. No, I like that one. That's good. It was a castle I went to where some, the, the guy oh. had dressed up in a kilt and he was telling us. Wow. Mm. It wasn't Burns Night, no. I can't remember where we went. Where did we go? Mm. I think it must have been. It wasn't actually. It must have been Glasgow. Why have we been? Glasgow, maybe? Right. Does Glasgow have a castle? There's a castle somewhere. No, it's in the I have no idea. We went on holiday somewhere. It was amazing and I loved it. Now, oh, it's keep, oh, I keep forgetting. The time's going so quickly. I know, I know. It's flying by. So, what did you think when you saw these? Because I would have been over the moon. Well, I wasn't sure whether they were hearts or trillions. It's very subtle if they are hearts. It's beautiful. Ah, yeah. See, lovely, I saw them straight away as a heart. Yeah, they're lovely. I've always been a massive fan of these these, these coloured stones. I love oh. them. That orange one is just beautiful. Yeah, isn't just it? that one and this. Slightly druzy encased within. Here we are. This is not a random fact, but at the moment in um, home decor, yeah. one of the big things is having canvases or murals on the wall of slices of agate. Oh yes, yes, I've heard that. It's amazing. Yes, yeah. Because they are, they're works of art. I mean, if you had something like that on your wall, it would be so mm. dramatic, wouldn't yeah. it? And something like this is, well, I mean, look. look. They're beautiful, aren't they? Every I love the uniqueness wall. of them. Yeah, they are magic, really magic. I love treatments to gemstones. We were talking about this in the workshop on Saturday in Harrogate. The fact that um, these stones would be quite nondescript. Yes. Without a bit of colour punch. Yeah. And look at, you can see all the striations, all the lines, all the bandings. It just comes into its own when you add colour. I love them. Um, when I did my uh, gemological qualification, you had to write kind of a, a like a dissertation, mm. I suppose. And mine focused on treatments of gemstones. Oh. Because I love the fact that Yes, gemstones are beautiful in and of their mm, own right, but mm. actually to add a coating to something changes yes, yes. completely what it, it looks like. And the gemstone might get overlooked. Yes, yeah. As it's a bit mundane, a bit bland. Yeah. So they add... And there are so you know, many amazing them. treatments as well. Like you, you can heat certain gemstones up to a point where it's almost at melting and it absorbs. You add, um, I oh. think it's beryllium to the top. It's, yeah, beryllium. Mm. So you add beryllium to the top and it absorbs it into the stone. So it goes right into wow. the lattice work of the stone itself. And it creates the most amazing effect. Mm. So you've got all of these amazing treatments that can create some of the most dramatic... What could have been just mm. a boring, plain stone. Yeah. And I hate yeah. saying that about yeah. gemstones. Yeah. And they now look incredible. And I always think mm. of it as ladies wear makeup. Ah, that's a good point. Ladies wear makeup. And men. And men. Yeah. And manscaping. Yeah, manscaping indeed. Yeah. Or, or sometimes we go a bit further and we have things done, mm -hmm. like noses changed and yeah. wrinkles taken away and whatnot. Um, and actually, do you know what? Some stones do need a little bit of help to mm. look yeah, yeah. as the beautiful best. as the rest, yeah. yeah. Good point. So there we go. And these are fabulous. So you've got the hearts there, which are um, stunning in their own right. And also this, again, another stone that's been treated yeah. to, to just create the most amazing effect. Reminds me, and I'm sorry, I'm going back to food. Mm. What do you think this reminds me of? 
It's a sweet black currant and licorice. Mm. Remember those one. sweets? Mm. Then, oh, yeah. oh. Amelia's looking at me as if to say, what on earth are you? Mm. Hey, so it's black currant, it's a boiled black currant sweet, so a hard sweet on the outside. And once you got through the black currant, you got licorice on the inside. I'm only two years younger than you. Oh, I don't reckon I don't. Mm. Is it a regional sweet, maybe? I don't know, but I love them. They were amazing. Yeah. They, they were amazing. I did see them. Did I grow up somewhere else? Did I grow up somewhere else? Um, mm. Either that or I'm a lot older. No! To the, but, to, oh dear. No, I did see them in the market the other day. Right. They do still have them in old-fashioned sweet right. shops. Okay. So clearly I'm 100 years older than everybody else. So you've got these two. So you've got that wonderful blackcurrant and licorice tone to them. And then we've got the cords. So we've got light copper in the nylon cord, and that's at 0.9. And then we've got silver at 0.3. So we've also then got rose gold coloured toggle clasps, which is going to be a pack of three that you receive. So all of this is actually going under Again. £20. Oh, my Lord. Believe it or not. All of this is actually going on £20. So that is two strands. Hold on, let me just think about this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So seven pieces under £20. Two of those are gemstones. It's going to be £2.85 oh per okay. strand. Oh, no, I know that, but I'm just... Uh, Ross is saying it's per component. I know mm. that, but if you're breaking it down per component, that is a strand at two less than £3. Wow. This is less than £3. This is less than £3. This is less than £3. So you are going to get something really dramatic, and I would certainly be taking advantage of that. £19.95. 260 wow. metres of your silver Eslon cord at 0.3. 32 metres of the light copper Eslon at 0.9 uh, mil. And then you've got 360 carats of the black and purple agate, which are 12 mil in size, and 370 carats of your um, dyed multicolour striped agate puffy hearts of 20 mil in size. And then you're getting the three rose gold coloured toggle clasps with cord ends, and the size of those is 3.2 mil. So you're getting so much bang for your buck in this. I wouldn't be surprised if you'd be paying the £20 if you bought the gemstones on their own. Mm, yes, yeah. And then the rest has basically been thrown in just for the sake of it, really, mm, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Here you go, there's a freebie for you. Gosh. See, that necklace I would sell for £45 I love on its necklace. own. It's on its own. It's a long neck over the head necklace. Yeah, I love it. So I've just doubled it up on here. But again, these have got massive drill holes. You can get 1.25 wire through both of these strands. I'm going to ask the ultimate question right now, because you've clearly yeah. used a lot of cord. Yeah. How much cord do you have left? Well, over in that little bag over there, I might be wrong, are the remnants of the kit. I might be wrong. They might still be in my bag. Um, on, the black, on the black mat to the right, Amelia, is there a little... No. no, 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 that's the wrong one. But you do have some left. Yeah, a tiny amount. Probably the smallest amount I've ever used. I've had. No, but that's brilliant. Left. So you've got so much. But you can see, this is it. Visually, you can see just how much you've actually got. Oh, here we are. That's Isn't that brilliant. cute? Yeah. And then you've got the whole strand, uh, the whole spool of the other one remaining, yeah. and you've still got some gemstones remaining. Oh yes, so I've still got. So that's that's what I had left. That's incredible. And I still had all of those because I, what I wanted to do, I wanted to have all the warm colours in the necklace. Yes. Which left all the cold colours, and I used a couple of green and one of the turquoise. So I still had two, four, six. I still had nine stones left, and then one of the rounds, and then I didn't use any of the toggles, and I didn't use any of the. Point three, but that's all I had left of. See, so that's really nice. Yeah. So visually, we can now see how how much you've used. I'm going to pop one oh, yeah, that's in that full, that, yeah. Yes. yeah, and you can see just how much yep. jewellery you can and make out of it. I love point nine. It's my favourite gauge. I just love it because it's quick. Yeah. Whether it's for for Kumahimo or or macrame, it's just really quick. So I always mm. tend to ask if I and then, but specifically when these gemstones have such really good drill holes. But the effect is really dramatic yeah, as well. Yeah, no, it's beautiful. It's a really nice little kit. 
Because I can imagine that would look fantastic if you've got scarves on, yeah, if you've yeah. got a big high roll neck. Yeah, over a chunky woolly. Yeah, it'd look fantastic. But it'd also look great in the summer as well. Amelia likes the term chunky. Chunky woolly. Chunky woolly. Yeah. Nothing like a chunky woolly. I like a chunky woolly. I do. It, it keeps you warm. It certainly does. It keeps you warm. So, can I just say good luck to each and every single one of you on this one. There is not a huge quantity of them available. It's great <coughs> quantity, but at £19.95, considering you're getting two strands of gemstones and your toggles, and you're getting two of your spools, it is incredible to see the small price point that you're getting it for. So, check your baskets out. Good luck. And what are you going to demo? So, I'm going to show you um, what I've done. With, I've, I've taken a bit of leftover wire from the first kit to incorporate in the second kit. So, oh, nice. So I'm going to show you how to how to make, um, it's sort of a take, it's take on sort of a shambhala bracelet, if you like. So the first thing we do, I've got my one millimeter wire. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make some jump rings. And for the jump rings, I'm using a crochet hook, and this is three and a half millimeter in gauge. So I'm going to treat it as a gizmo coiler, and I'm just going to take the wire and wrap it around. You need quite a few, um, oops, just reverse it a little bit. So you need quite a few jump rings. So um, make a decent coil. If you've got your, your gizmo coiler set up at home, then make a huge, okay. So we've got our, our jump ring section. So we can slide that off. And then using flush cutters, I'm going to cut my jump rings. So that's the remnants. So just going to cut the jump rings off. And at the moment they're, they're open, but you will need to close them when you come to make your piece of jewelry. Okay, it's so just going to make your little jump rings. I do make a lot of jump rings like this as well. And because um, you can use different color wires than you don't have in a findings pack. Okay, so you've got your jump rings. So the next thing, next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to close them up. And all you need to do is just give them a little squidge and that closes them. I love that term, squidge. squidge. Just going to give it a little close. And in between each of your beads, you're going to need five. Okay, so you, you will need quite a few jump rings. Okay, so I'm just going to close those up. So I'm going to put those five to one side to use in a second. Put the rest of those in my tray. And then what I've got on my macrame board is I've got one piece of the 0.9 down the middle. That's going to be the lazy. And I'm going to take another piece, again, about three foot long. With the Shambhala bracelets, you don't actually use very much. Cord, because you're caging around a bead, you're not making lots of knots. Oh, so it just cord. saves a bit of, yeah, saves a bit of cord. Between, yeah. Isn't there? Yeah. So I'm going to do a little first section of knots, which is called... Uh, if it doesn't contain any beads... Uh, oh my, you told me on the first one. And you said it was rude. Naked! Yeah. Oh, how did I not remember that? <laughs> so oh. you do the first little section of... See, it's so rude, I tried to erase it from my that, memory and did was. a really yeah. good job. That's what it was. <laughs> okay. Now with this, you have to put the beads on one at a time. Okay, you won't be able to... Um, actually, I'm going to use the spare one we had from the kit earlier. So oh, I'm now going. I'm disgruntled about Jamie Oliver again. Ah. Uh, Okay, so I'm going to take my first stone. I'm just simply going to thread that on, like so, down to the bottom. I'm just going to lock that in. So we're going to tie two full square knots. So just going to do the first half, then the second half. And you'll notice that it starts to come undone ever so slightly. Like so, what I tend to do is if, if you have an, I mean, it's not an issue, but if that tends to happen, before you make your macrame jewel, you know those little sponges that are sort of yellow on the one side and then they have the green scoury bit on the yes. top? Well, if you flip it over, washing up sponge, yeah, so you've got the yellow yeah. part uppermost, yeah. and just get a sharp knife and score a ridge through the center, dampen the sponge, yeah. and then draw your cord through the sponge, yeah. and that'll straighten it out, and it won't, ah. you, won't, you won't get this um, opening up. That's brilliant. But it's, but it's not an issue. So I've done the first half. That's technically yeah. known then as a jewellery hack. Oh, yes, yes. Mark's jewellery hack. So do the second half and then finish off that knot. Like so. And then what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to take my lazy cord and I'm going to take the two ends of my working. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop on the jump rings that I've previously made. Mm -hmm. And I want to make sure I've got all five. There we go. And I'm going to pop all three of those cords over the jump rings. So one, two, three. So that's the second. Slide them down. And then this is the third. So this is really nice if you've got little pieces of 0.1 mm. of um, one millimetre left over in your stash. Just adds a little something extra to your macrame bracelets. So that's the fourth. And then this is the fifth. So is the five there for aesthetics? Because most it's always said you use odds, don't you? Odd no, numbers. it's purely because five will cover two square knots. Oh, OK. There we are. Pure and simple. So that's all you're doing. You're, you're just covering those knots with your five jump rings. And then you take your next stone, you pop it on. That's brilliant. And then you push it up to those jump rings so that hides all of the knots inside and just adds something different in between your beads. Touch it to your board again. Just make sure that's nice and straight. And then we tie our two square knots. So we do the first half, make sure that sits nice and neatly underneath your jump rings. So obviously if you had two, if you had one square knot, then you'd only need three jump rings. Yeah. And if you had five, three square knots, then you just make more jump yeah. rings. So just make sure that's nice and tight. So that's the first. And then that's the second. And then all you're going to do is you'll take your cords off the board, you'll add your next group of jump rings, which will sit over the top yeah. of your bees. If I bring the bracelet across, you can see I'll just pass that across. Thank you. So you can see I've, I've got all of the, the jump rings in between. Like so, so I've got five in between all the beads. So no, it just no. adds a bit of, a bit of um, bling to it. And then what I've done at the back is I've made a sliding clasp, which we've shown quite a few times on the show. And just to finish it off, I've tied two little knots and I've, I've put a little crimp cover over the knot just to add the little dongles on the end. But you could do this with a, with a necklace if you wanted to as well. It's just a nice way of, of adding a bit of met metal work yeah. to your, your ordinary Shambhala bracelets. But they're really cool. I love those. It just gives it a bit of extra weight as well, which is quite nice. They are fantastic. Yeah. I, I actually, yeah. I'm really surprised at how much I like the orange with the purple. Oh, that's brilliant. Well, I, really think, I think Claire, who put the kit together for me, listens they, because they have the TV on in the kit room all day, you see. And I always, always, always talk about Cheryl Cole and her colour blocking. <gasps> Yes. And I always talk about orange and purple or turquoise and purple, and I think this was kit was put together as you an ode I, yeah. to, to Cheryl. Yes. Oh. Bless Cheryl. I do like Cheryl Cole. She is brilliant, isn't she? Or, no, she's just Cheryl now, isn't yeah. she? But that kind of yeah. says the status, because well, as soon as you drop the second name and you can be recognised as, it's like Kylie. Yeah. Like Kylie. Madonna. Madonna. Yeah. Mark. It's that. Yeah, Kleshner. Kleshner, yeah. Kleshner, one word, yeah. I think Mark, Sting. that's it. Yeah. Sting, yeah. Elvis. We mentioned Elvis earlier, didn't we? We did. Maybe I should just be... Mark. Mark. Love that. Mm. We need to do a nice, fancy um, artwork symbol. for your name. Yeah, or you could be like yes. Prince became symbol. Yeah, formerly known as. That'd be a good one. What would you be known as then? Mark, Ooh. formerly known as. Mark, formerly known as... Smithy. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I love you. You are brilliant. Formerly cool. known as Mark, and yeah. we just need a little, like a yeah, symbol. Like a squiggle and a symbol. Yeah. yeah. A question mark, like the Joker symbol. That'd be a good one. Yes. Mm. Man or myth. Yeah, yeah. Could you please the design The legend, us? the li living legend. Yeah. 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 We had a lovely lady at the workshop who, who was, um, she got a bit emotional. I won't, I won't, I won't say your name. Um, but she was meeting me for the first time, and she said that I was once in a lifetime opportunity. Oh! Yeah, that made my day. That is incredible. You are. You're mm. awesome. Everyone should have a day with Mark. I think. Sorry, a day with <laughs> formerly, formerly known, known as, as. Mark. <laughs> 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 we need to do that. It's incredible. <laughs> now, um, I'm going to bring to you the ah. 
clasps on their own. Okay. Because you may um, need a few more than what we're giving you. If you're wondering how you use these in macrame, because they're um, yes. because ideally they they use for kumihimo. Yes. But with this bracelet here, look, I've used the half square knot, which gives you the twist. And if you're using the point nine with one lazy and two working, that little end of the twist there sits perfectly inside your toggle clasp. Ah. That's how you can do it. So you can finish it off. So either use your kumihimo or with a with a twist. That, that. So ignore this piece here because I've plaited that to make the two to make the tie, but the end of that twist there will slot perfectly into the end of your toggles. Brilliant. And you just you secure it that. with glue then, don't you? Yeah, yeah, just the glue that's super or jewellery glue. It's lovely. Isn't that lovely colour, that that teal. Yeah. Again, it looks beautiful against the orange. I love orange. It, it works so one nicely. Of my, one of my up and coming favourite colours this yeah. year. It's been lovely. My daughter loves orange. Mm. I was quite surprised at that. So is your nephew, yeah. Which means I've actually got into orange a lot. Mm. It is a really nice colour. Yeah. So we've got three of the toggle clasps in a pack for you right now. Um, they are rose gold coloured. So we'll go beautifully with the orange. We'll go beautifully with the purple. We'll go beautifully with lots of things. Mm. Size wise, they're three point two mil, and you do get three in a pack for four pounds ninety five. And it creates a really nice finish to your piece as well, especially when you've got um, a colourway that either. Do you know what? Would you work with a colourway that clashes? Yes. Okay. Mm. I don't have any issues with colours at all. I love mixing anything. Yeah. No, I really do. Cool. Yeah. There we I are. I think then. it's an aquarium. I think they they've got a, um, an affinity to colour. Ah. Mm. So what are your traits as an aquarium? That's one thing. Aquarium, Great artsy. I just we're, said. We're, we're too over trusting and we're too over sensitive. So we're lots of oh. over. We could we overcompensate. 13th of February Ooh. is my birthday. So next next 13th of February next year is Mark Smith Day. Just just Yay. forewarning you, just get it out there. Yeah. It's not that far away actually for It's that. not, no. Considering no, how quick this month is going. It? Yeah. It's only eight weeks to Valentine's Day. It's crazy. Oh. Which means it's eight weeks to your birthday. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's amazing. Yeah. Bananas. Bananas. Just, you sneeze and the year goes, mm. doesn't it? Yeah. Right, what shall I bring you next? How about I bring you... Ah. Well, it's nice that we, we were doing a little bit separately, because you might want to add. Yeah. Yeah. Which is really nice. I love this strand as well. Well, this is it. If you get a kit that you really like to work with... Yeah. ...and you've only got one lot of the items in there... Mm. You kind yeah. of go, I just need that bit more. Yes, I just, yeah. And if you've got the ability to buy more, brilliant. Especially these. These work so nicely with the orange. Oh, we do have the orange coming up separately in a moment or two. Ah. Sorry, Ross, if it wasn't planned to bring it. I am. <laughs> I am, because I really like that colour. So we're looking at the 360 carats of the black and purple agate, the ones that I said reminded me of the black currant and licorice sweets. But none of us have heard of. How have you not heard of them? Right, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to let it go. Let I've it go. heard of chocolate limes. Yes, yeah. Not. They're mm. kind of the same oh, time period, I suppose. In my life, they were anyway. I was going to get on my soapbox again then. I'll go on, do it. Relax. Sherbet fountains in a plastic tube. When have sherbet fountains ever been in a plastic tube? No, they are now. Why? Aren't we supposed to be trying to reduce plastic? Yeah, you yeah, used to rip off the little yeah, was... paper top and used yeah, to, and it used to go cardboard. soggy and yeah. yeah. Plastic now. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Sorry, I'm just taking a moment actually to just. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But honestly, I like dip dabs. yeah. Yeah, with the, with the licorice down yes. the centre that you used to be able to, apparently used to be able to suck the sherbet up through the licorice, but it never... I never had that. No, I wasn't no. able to do that. No, I never either. No. Oh, going back to food again. <laughs> <laughs> yes. £4.95 is the price point on this one, which is a lot of bang for your buck. It certainly is. It is a lot. When you think about how many you've got in here, it's a tiny price point for a lot. Message come through. Oh, you have an ally. I remember the black currant and licorice sweets. Love them. They are amazing. That's poppy. poppy them. <sighs> right. Mm. Right. I, I'm going I'm to have to go to the market now. Yeah. I'm going to have to. Yes. 
Okay. And I'm gonna, you're going to yeah. have it in your pigeonhole. Okay. Happy Christmas over there, pigeonholed. Mm -hmm. um, another message come through. Love that demo, Mark. Not oh. seen that before and we'll certainly oh, it's try fun. it. It's lovely. It's really nice. Thank you very much. Yeah. If you've got any one. coloured wires, any one millimetre coloured wires like purple or blue or bright pink that you've got from old Ooh, kits, you can just yeah. incorporate that into your bracelets. Yeah, yeah. It's lovely. And that's it if you've got any of the mm. pre-made jump rings yeah. as well, because yeah. I've still got some of the sea green ones. Oh, brilliant. Oh, so perfect. that would look really nice. That would be yeah. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so £4.95, whole lot of bang for your buck. Lots of people there for this one as well, which is really lovely to see. have got Victoria from Jemison Moore. Hello, darling. Hello, hello. Do you remember blackcurrant licorices? No. I'm trying to think of the other. Cop Cops. Oh, yes, I've heard of those. Cough Cop Coughs, they're called. Cough Cop Coughs? Yeah. Are they? That's how it's spelled. Oh, it's K-O-P-K-O-P. -O -P. Oh, I don't know that, then. The little, the little round aniseedy ones. Oh. Not the same as what? No. Oh, the, li the little tiny little mm. aniseedy flavoured ones which had toffee oh. in the middle. Oh, cop cops. Cop oh. cops, yeah. Oh. There we are. So I'm going to bring you the cord right now, which is a gorgeous, almost a, a burnt orange or a sienna kind of colour. It's lovely, isn't it? Mm. It's, it's just, oh, I love it. I love our, our nylon cords. I love them. There's not a single gemstone that we have in our stable that we don't have a we don't have a nylon cord to match mm. or use in some way. Yeah, I'm I'm right there with you on that. It all, this kind of colour always reminds me of the autumn and it reminds me of the leaves and the turning of the leaves and because of that, and I know that's normally when the season goes cold, but it reminds me of warmth. It gives it's got mm, a really yes. warming kind yeah. of feel because you it's the time you wrap up in front of the fire, it's the time that you, you get your hot chocolate out and your marshmallows out and it's back to food again. Um two pounds ninety-five though, and you get the most amazing look. And you've seen how just how it's been used in Mark's designs and how beautiful it looks, both with the um the metal and also just with the gemstones as well, mm. with the purples, with the pinks, yeah. with the greens. It just it just goes with all of them, really, doesn't it? I love your earrings. Yeah, I've got a few green with that. See, the, mm. that orange has just gone with... It's quite a neutral colour, actually, orange. It tends to go with quite a lot. It's nice. Yeah, it really does. Really, really does. Hold those lines, my darlings. Hold those lines. I just realised I don't have any orange in my wardrobe. I don't either. Mm. I do. Well, that's that's good. At least one of us does. Mm. If you heard the vo little voice, that was Amelia. I do. I like it so much. I left it at my mum's house, and she posted it especially. Oh. Oh. No, we had this this um this range. We had a blue, a green, a purple, a brown, and I've not seen the mixed colours. We did. We had single strands of all of these, mm -hmm. and I just love I love chunky big. Gemstones. No, they are fab. Great value for money. Yeah. They're ace, aren't they? They're great fun. Just looking at these now. And I'm looking at these from earlier. And I'm kind of wanting to use these as spaces mm. in between and do like the wow. biggest design. It's very decadent. Oh, yeah, well, if, you, if you've, got, if you've yeah. got the ability to do so, why yeah. not? That's my favourite, I think, that blue. Mm. It's got a smile. Oh, it does. There you go. The green above with the druzy internally. They're amazing. I just love these as a bargain and a half. 1,250 carats. Yeah, 1,250 carats. And wow. when you're saying decadent, decadent is, is something you can't do if you have big high price points. Mm. If you can get this for under £20 and this for under £20 and you then create yourself yeah. a necklace that you've paid £40 for, which... Okay, go into a jeweller's. I know it's going to be completely different, but go into a jeweller's and see the kind of things you can get for forty pounds. Because I think you're going to struggle mm. to get a huge design. But actually, when you take it down to the gemstones themselves and you create the design yourself and you do the work to to make the piece beautiful, you can have something so incredibly decadent that you thought you would never mm. be able to afford in a million years. And yeah. actually, yeah. you've done it. It is That's lovely. It's fabulous, isn't it? Absolutely fabulous. Oh, hello, I'm destroying the place now. Sorry about that. Now, next. Yes. They're lovely. I've been waiting I love for these. these. You've been eyeing these up, haven't you? Mm hmm. Look at 
that. That's just yeah. beautiful. I would bead bezel with these. Oh, okay. Mm. So if you imagine we were talking about carrier beads earlier, this is yeah. like this is a carrier bead, but quite a bit longer. So if you look at the side, mm -hmm. the, the edge, yeah. can you see it's sort of curved? Yeah. That's just like a carrier bead. Oh. And then you make a your peyote strip, which you zip together. Yeah. And then you place it around the carrier bead. Oh. 13th <gasps> of February, that's all I'm saying. Look at these. Look at these. They, they are magical, every single one. That's the half and half right there, isn't it? And then you've got... Oh, look at that. Just look at this one. Wow. That reminds me of a cat marking. Like the belly of a cat. In fact, the belly of your cat. Really? It's in like when you have a white... My cat's got a white belly. I'm nice. sorry if you don't like the word. Tummy. Tummy, okay, tummy, we'll use tummy. Tummy, <laughs> not a belly. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh dear. That opens a whole different can of worms, mm. doesn't it? So we are looking at £12.95. Yeah, exactly. What? You could be paying oh that Lord. for one, couldn't That's you? That's amazing. Look at that smokiness. Yeah. You could put that with smoky quartz. Oh, you could. Yeah. And it would look magical. Mm. And I love wow. the fact they are, they are all so very different. Yes. That's incredible strength. I very much want to be making these the focal piece, and I don't think I'd want them all together. I think I want to separate them out. I bet you'd put they're them together, amazing. wouldn't you? No, I would, I would treat them as separate individual pieces, I think. They're amazing. Wow. Would you put them with sterling silver or would you put them with a gold colour? Ooh. Now you've asked. Mm. I would probably go antique bronze. <gasps> really? Specifically this one here. I think, yes. I think each individual stone has its own merits for the choice of colour yes. of wine yeah. you use or, or colour you use. I'm feeling they're quite art deco as well. Mm. That's nice. That's nice, isn't it? And again, there's your half and half. Yeah, all of them completely Lovely, individual, completely unique. Beautiful. And stunning in every single right. Do you know what they remind me of? Mm. The old style, I don't know if it's the matchbox cases or if it was like the cigarette, the, the old like 1920s, mm. Mm. the collectible ones. Yeah where they used to have really ornate, or is it cigarette boxes? Mm, could be. It's a cigarette boxes, is it? Mm. It, it? It's kind of along the same lines as, you know, your compact mirrors? Oh, yes, yes, I know what you mean. Yes. But they used to yes, have, yes, yeah, 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 so that kind of thing. Yeah. Or calling card cases. Yes, or, yeah, 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 they're very yeah, ornate, yeah. very beautiful, and they... Yeah. In the yeah. 1920s onwards, they used to have that mm, kind of that's right. really yeah. sleek feel. How do I remember? Thank Ooh, you for a that. Bit How old would that make me? If you were, what, it'd be 100. 100. Yeah, you're aged well. Thanks, thanks. Mm. It's because, like, like uh, a lot of stones, I've gone for. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's, why the that's why the sweeties came into it, yeah. yes, yes. Um, now, I've got two seraphonites oh, for you. Just point, I'm not 100 years old. I may feel like it some days, but I'm not 100 years old. Now, I did promise you some unusual gemstones. This oh. is absolutely one of them, and I adore oh, this. Beautiful, isn't it? So this is seraphonite. Uh, I'm going to start off with the ovals for the moment. And the reason it's no, it's, it's very similar to Sharawite in the fact that it's quite a high silica based gemstone. So you get almost a waxy luster to it and you get these fibrous inclusions, which with the Sharawite, you've got almost swoops and swirls like the Edward, uh, Edvard Munch picture. What you get here is something very different. And the reason it's called Seraphonite is because if you look at these closely, they quite often resemble feathers. Mm. Yeah, so the wing, the angel feathers, mm. angel wings. Um, and the idea, or the sort of the, the whole romance around this, because it is quite a romantic thought, isn't it, really? Yes. It's, mm. Is that they were touched, and this is one of the old beliefs, they were touched by the wings of an angel. Mm. And that's where those, those inclusions, the imprints came from, which I love that as a myth, I really, really do. 
And the seraphim are actually one of the, they're the highest level of the angels. So the angels have various different tiers. And the, the seraphim are the ones that fly around the, the throne of God. And they, I think they, they fly around calling holy, holy, holy. Oh. Is if you read if you read back old text, that's what they they supposedly did. So they're the closest thing to him. So the the fact that they've named it after that is really lovely, and you've got all these incredible incredible inclusions. And the beauty of it is because of how unusual those inclusions are, wow. it does have an optical effect. And look at the light moving across yeah. it. It's beautiful, isn't it? And I don't know any other term. And I've used this term a few times for some gemstones. Harry Potter painting. Photographs. You know the Harry Potter photographs? They take them and they look at them and they move. They actually, they move, don't they? If you don't know the Harry Potter films or the Harry Potter books, then... Mm -hmm. trying to work, I'm trying good. to work out about the paintings. But they move. If you look at the light across the surface, can you see how it moves? Oh, yeah, yeah. And it looks, what you mean. Yeah, yeah. it always reminds me, particularly with Peter site, which has a very similar mm. look to it, it reminds mm. me of a sea moving. A stormy sea. So in this you kind of get a similar feeling. Think of a sea at night. You couldn't tell if it was green oh, or if it was blue. Beautiful. Under £20. Yes. Oh, how can we do that? That is the other thing about it. Seraphonite, I have bought Seraphonite in jewellery to people in the past in silver. And you're getting a lot more bang for your buck on this strand than what I was able to do then. A lot more carat weight, a lot more oh. gemstones. And it's it's just so nice to see. You're also getting the spacer bees in between as well. So you're getting extra bag for your book there as well. Isn't it a magical stone? Imagine wearing this as a ring. Oh, look at that. Yeah. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So I'm gonna bring you the pairs now. Well, I think you need large surface areas to, to experience the... Um... The movement. The movement. Yeah. And this is perfect with the, with the ovals and, yes. the, and the pairs. That's beautiful. And actually, if I... Oh, that's quite a nice one to show. It's a really unusual background green colour as well, isn't yes. it? Yes. quite unusual. Yeah. But you can see how they look like feathers. Yeah. Look at that. Particularly this one. And then you've got little sections like this, which is almost like a moonstone where the light has a chatoyant effect over the surface because of those fibrous inclusions. Now, it's a magical stone, really magical oh. stone. Love to combine this with Moldavite, actually. Yes, yeah, same sort of tone, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. And it's got a simple elegance to it, and that silver sheen, again, lends itself so perfectly to if you were wanting to work with silver or if you wanted to add... I don't know, purple in there maybe? Yeah. And again, under 20. Under 20 pounds, 68 carats of seraphonite, graduated plain flat pairs. You're getting seven to 12 millimeters approximately and it's a 22 centimeter strand. Oh, isn't it magical? I'm thinking earrings. I know it means you won't get to see the effect yourself, but it would look fantastic, wouldn't it? What would you? What would you do? Earrings pendant? Wow. Sweet. I like the I like, I like your your earrings idea. Do a bit of brillet wrapping. Yeah. That would be really nice. Yeah. But I think just as it is. I keep those spaces in between. I think that adds a really nice edge to it, doesn't it? Actually, like, like yeah. Very contemporary. Yeah. Yeah. Hold those lines, my darlings, on that one. <laughs> Are you serious? Serious, serious, serious. So the silence was because Ross actually gave me a choice between the two on the on the T bar. Which one would I like to bring? I've chosen I like because I adore the stone. It's really unusual. It's trichroic. You've got three different elements. Um, there is over a hundred carats. My earpiece is gone completely now. One hundred and forty-four. One hundred and forty-four mm. carats on this one, and. First thing he said when I picked it off the tea bar was it's going under £10. It's our final auction of the day. It's going under £10. I would just grab it because the sizes you're seeing are phenomenal. The, the effect is outstanding. And I've said this many, many, many times. Um, so Tanzanite is blue-violet. This is a violet blue. So opposite in that regard. 
but it's trichroic and it's naturally trichroic. You see three colours in this particular gemstone when you move it in the light. Um, depending on the angle that you catch it, you'll see yellow, you'll see blue, a bluey tone, and then you'll also see a violet tone in there as well. So for me, if Tanzanite had never existed, this would have been the next big boy. It would have been mm, amazing. Yeah. Tanzanite got there though. So we can bring it to you under 10 pounds, believe it or not. And it's completely natural. No heat treatment needed to create those color effects in it at all. It's stunning. Are you ready? Guaranteed under 10 pounds, lowest ever price point, last auction of the day. Take advantage of it. Get two, get three, get 10. That's an amazing, amazing, <laughs> amazing deal. <laughs> 9.95. I would be more than happy to take as many of these as I possibly could in fairness. I mean, I'd pay that just for one of these stones. That stone yeah, on its own, I would, it's just, I can't believe how we can get these prices so low. I know how good connections we have. I know how good we are at getting big quantities. It just, but to get it at £9.95, ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. That's half the price you're seeing on the website. Should be £19.95. Remember, we are on up until 8 a.m. because the repeats go on, don't they? As soon as that 8 a.m. kicks in, these are going to go back up to the price point. So if you want mm. it, get them at this price right now. Now, my lovely, that brings us to the end it's of the show. By. I know. I know. When are you back with us, my darling? I am back. Well, I'm here on Saturday running a workshop. Awesome. And I'm back on the show Monday morning with Amazing. Carol. Amazing. You're going to give us a hint as to what's going no. to come? No. No, not at all. Ooh. No. Thank you for joining no. us today, my Thank you. It's been Thank a you. Pleasure. A big hug to Zena as yes. well and get well soon. Yes, We're please get terribly. well soon. Love to you. Oh, yes. Love to you. It's, it's one of those days. It's really nice yes. to be here with you, but yeah, I'm really sad that Zena's not well. Yeah. But, um, I'm sure she'll, she's on the road to recovery and, and everyone's been sending yeah. uh, their best wishes. So yeah, look after yourself, my darling. Mm -hmm. Now, Carol is... Mm -hmm. No, not Carol. Is it yeah. Carol this morning? Yeah, yes. Carol's going to be yes. with us <laughs> with more amazing deals. So thank you to all and see you very right. soon. Mwah. Join us this Wednesday on Jewelry Maker for the Gem Setting Day. We have got the most stunning deal of the day for you, Ethiopian Nuggets. As well as that, we're going to be bringing to you the Deluxe Gem Setting Toolkit so that you can create unique pieces. We also have for you Yellow Sapphire, Aquamarine, Pink Amethyst, and a selection of pearls and everything to suit your gem setting needs. As well as that, we've also going to be joined by the incredible Hayley Kruger and the wonderful Fleur Hastings. So join us at Jewelry Maker this Wednesday for Gem Setting Day. You can watch our Jewelry Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. Jewelrymaker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelrymaker. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewelrymaker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easy to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share.